What's up, everyone? Hello, welcome back to this uh, pretty hot uh, July uh, 6th. Well, as we record this, uh, July, Saturday of July. And uh, yeah, we're, we're both in the tank tops. It's that, that's how warm it is <laughs> around the world. Uh, at least in, in one part of the globe. <laughs> no, but I think like in Europe is hot, Japan is hot. Like, it's, it's yeah, hot. I'm like, isn't Japan like like you dying? Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're dying. dying right yeah, now. yeah, they're dying, man, of heat. That heat, man. <laughs> like, if you thought um, like what Vegas heat was bad, <laughs> Japan heat. Well, it, well, Vegas has its own heat. brand of heat. It's it's a one way yeah. to put it because it's super dry, whereas Japan is super wet. And but that's the thing with Vegas heat. It's super dry in the daytime, but once it comes to night, you're like, I miss the heat. Well, it's not that cold though. It's actually very bearable. Like that's the thing. It's about bearable. bearable, but I think if you go like more out into the desert, yeah, then maybe it's like that shit. <laughs> Yeah, when you when you're actually out in the desert, that's where it gets pretty cold, right at night. But when you're in Vegas, you know you got all the heat from the lights and everything, and buildings and all that shit. Then yeah. But yeah, and not to mention people, more people roaming around. But yeah, it's hot, so be sure to drink all the water and you drink your your Gatorades and all that stuff. Well, mainly water. And also, um, what, what's that? Uh, it's, it's that thing you put into the water, like IV something. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. 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 The, the electrolyte, my, the electrolytes and all that, whatever. Yeah. My mm -hmm. friend, um, brought that for us for a convention and it was like really hot. Mm -hmm. So she's like, yeah, you guys going to need this. So she just squirted into our, um, into our flask and other bottles. And yeah. We were like actually perfectly like. It's hot, but I feel okay. Yeah. Well, uh, as you can kind of tell from the docket, um, it is a little more on the smaller side, but we do have uh, things to say about Zenless Zone Zero as it did come out. Stucks. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I mean, it, it, it sucks for like... Um, Hoyu, like some Hoyuverse players, and for me, I'll give my two cents. Yeah, when we, once we get there, yeah, yeah. Once we get there, we'll open that can. But um, we still have some stuff to talk about. No frontline stuff, so thank God. Like no like drama or no like anything drastic or anything like that on this Fourth of July weekend. So yeah, the game came out uh, Fourth of July, right? In, right. Uh, uh, well. 4th of July for some parts of the world, and then Ju uh, July 3rd at night for us. <laughs> Pretty funny. But anyway, um, let's start with... Oh, hold on. Sorry. Let me let me uh, have the soundboard account join us, So, um, which won't take too long. Yeah, but yeah, boom, and then... Uh... Where is it? Oh, there you go. And then soundboard. There we go. And where my soundboard's at? There we go. This battle I'm awake is about that. to explode. <laughs> well, good, because we do have some CEO talk to talk about. Nothing super like new, new or anything, but uh, I die throw this in because I think this is the belt for Dragon Ball Fighters at CEO. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my God, you you have that background. Oh my God, official artwork, everybody. That is official. Make note to that, that is official. <laughs> yes, because that's supposed to be Lycan's art when you fully unlock his uh, well. In Genshin terms, constellations in Star Rail terms, Eidolons. In uh this in, in Zenless terms, cinema levels. Which is kind of interesting, but it, but I guess it makes sense because you're running a video videotape store. So I guess they're doing the whole movie thematics. But anyway. Yeah. 
that's the art for when you fully unlock um lichen with all the duplicates and stuff anyway so this is uh the cha the championship belt from ceo i think if you win dragon ball fighters or if you won dragon ball fighters rather um and the logo right that's the avatar for um toriyama you know the, the gas mask and everything he even has a little halo on top because you know uh he passed away back in march i believe so i wonder what, like this is a really good like ping of um honoring um toriyama's legacy yes i wonder if this is I wonder if they're gonna later down the line make it as a pin, you know? But yeah. just like the color. I, I would love to have it. Yeah, it looks really cool. Like take away the the blue, the blue and the red, and just give me the square in the middle as a mm -hmm. pin. As a pin, yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really cool, actually, you know. Nice way to pay, pay respects to um the creator of the Dragon Ball series, you know? And put and put to have it as a championship belt for a fighting game. That's you know, that's like a cherry on top. And yeah, again, it's like well done, you know, for something like this. So thought I thought I put that out there. You know, someone put a picture. Uh, this is from Tyrant, who is in a com who is a commentator for fighting games from the UK. Um. This one, uh oh, no. no, we lost it. Oh well, what was it? <laughs> it was supposed to be from this is from Dick Center, but by, by the way, uh, it was supposed to be a story of you know, this is once again CEO. Uh, at CEO, apparently, someone went on stage playing against somebody in a Thomas the Tank Engine costume. <laughs> so, yeah, take that in. So. <laughs> So, I hope the theme song of Thomas was fucking playing when he was yeah. going up on them. <laughs> Imagine that player <laughs> making it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Imagine him making it into top eight. That would have, that absolutely would have have to been his entrance music. Cause it, you know, you know, CEO is like, it was supposed to be like a wrestling thing, right? Yeah. It's a wrestling theme. So when they enter the ring for top eight, they have to have some sort of entrance or something, right? The max. Yeah, they have to do the, um, you know the whole screen the titan like, the, yeah oh, the titan tron the whole yep. spiel yes the whole thing if they want to that is i'm sure like if they don't if they don't want to they'll just walk down the, along the thing and then that's it they would just do like a fast pose yeah like, hey, hey, hey all right cool. yeah and then you're just staring at them it's like that's it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean People get into it, you know. Some some of those players get in, really get into it. I remember um, the ones that come off, or the one me the one memorable one on top of my head is when Apology Man did his. He was playing for Dragon Ball Fighters, and so um, and he had a a, a Tian Shin Han team, so that's why he dressed up as Tian Shin Han, and then had somebody dress up as Chao Tzu, and Chao Tzu um, actually uh, hugged. Kazunoko and you know uh Chaozu does the self self destruct thing, right? Like he did to um Nappa. Remember that scene? And then <laughs> and then because Kazunoko was a Yamcha main at the time, he did the uh the Yamcha death pose on the ground or on the in the ring. So that's why it was all like, Oh, it was great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was paying homage to the memes and all that stuff. There you go. <laughs> DM you found it. <laughs> found the video of a Apology Man. 2018. Oh god. Wow, that's six years ago. Jeez. <laughs> I just looked down at the date. Like I found it. Ooh. Yeah. I don't like that date anymore. The warm cereal yipes until he said it. Apology man coming out to the stage. Oh, it's Tien. It's Tien. Oh my god. Throws up the rock. Throws up the rock. Yo, that is definitely Timo. That is that is that be blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Your sins are forgiven. You know what? I'm glad that he is embracing the TN because we did say that his piccolo was whack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He played piccolo. That's right. Yes. 
pooping? I didn't even realize. His vision is vital. He needs to put Piccolo main at the time, too. Man, I don't know if he can actually Piccolo Timo at the time, he was pretty good. He was good because of his hell, hell zone grenades. Hell zone and um, what was it? Like his um, arms, right? Like his arms. Were, he had the stretchy were, arms, yeah. Yeah. He he was the, the Dalsim. Yeah, pretty much. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What has a Chaozu? Chaozu, no. Chaozu. Oh man, I love it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I was like, cameraman, I was like, wait, perfect. <laughs> like this, Yamcha. Oh my goodness, that would have been godly. That was like a piece of Cyberman hand right there. <laughs> the Cyberman hand, yeah, that would have been so perfect. Kazunoko's a beast, actually. Yo, big up to Kazunoko to get down with the get down for that. Oh, he slapped the handshake. Oh. You oh. gotta, <laughs> you gotta love and respect them. Um, that might be who slapped, who slapped who's hand fighting game players. They, 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 they know how to, you know, have make fun, entertainment. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, again, to, the, to this day, my favorite duo, couple, because they always act like a fucking couple, is fucking Yipes and uh, the Filipino um, champ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The way they, they, they fight and bicker is like, God, you guys are married, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good old F champ. I yeah. do hope I see him types types this year. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I uh, for for what like Evo or something or what? Yeah, for Evo. Evo. I, I think, missed yeah. him the last time. Yes. Yeah. Because I miss I miss Yipes. I heard James like somewhere. Mm -hmm. James Chen. I was like, I hear him, but I don't know where you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep, CEO, you know, that's what really sets it apart from Evo and Combo Breaker, that the fact that it's uh, like wrestling themed and uh, all thanks to uh, Jim Bailey. So, uh, and, and then uh, to throw in one more little thing, I guess, for CEO, that was the last time or yeah, uh, that was the last time uh, they are doing it in uh, Daytona, Florida, and they will do it in a different mm -hmm. location. So, um. I forget where exactly, but yeah, it's a, it'll be a different location. Okay, so moving on to Evo, uh, speaking of which, we do have this. This is the final registration when it comes to the player side of things. Keep that in mind. So, um, re now Zawa, could you read the numbers going from like um eight to one bottom up bottom up yeah, yeah. okay at last place okay that sounded bad <laughs> yeah but you know at eight place king of fighters 15 we have a pool of 375 players yes good luck to you guys at number seven mortal kombat one 645. Ooh, I think it will be higher. Yeah. Number six. Under Night. In Birth 2. Sisolas. I'm not going to even. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not even going to try. Yeah. 785 players. Mm -hmm. Armed and ready. Like, how many people are going to choose Saber? Is that the game? Oh, yeah, no, is that Melty? Oh, isn't that Melty Blood? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking <laughs> saber saber could be a fucking like guest character for, yeah for all, for all we know for all we know but anyway number five street fighter three third strike the best one mm -hmm. <laughs> at 1101 players that is amazing that that is an achievement for an old ass game number four grand blue fantasy versus rising at 1,377. Very respectable. If, yeah. If, if if it was 1,337, I would have been laughing my ass off. No. And why is that? Neat. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now okay, at number three, Guilty Gear Strive. Mm-hmm. 2,058 players armed and ready. Mm-hmm. Now, see, my yeah. question for number three, how many Bridget's are we going to see? Hmm. Rather, how many Slayers are we going to see? Because he does super slayers, damage. Yeah. The stupid damage. Yeah. I hope there's like a good handful of ABBA, you know, gun, mm-hmm. gun, bring her, bring her out. But I think because like what mostly the uh, the characters in Guilty Gear is kind of rushed down, kind of rushed down ish. Right. ABBA might have a little difficulty until she um like switches, switches mode. Oh, beautiful is here. Hello, beautiful. Here. Okay. Yep. Uh, at number two, Tekken, Tekken Eight. Yes. I was about to try and say that that number in Japanese, but I stopped at one hundred. So we have four thousand six hundred sixty-four with four thousand six hundred forty-six. I was like, did, did I just get dyslexia? <laughs> another, another good number. I mean. Look at number two and number four. I mean, number two and number five, they're almost like in that not even an odd range, you know, like for a set of numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And then at number one, which pretty much no surprise, <laughs> is Street Fighter VI with 5,265 players or uh, fighters. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, so, quite quite the number, right? Um, really good. Yes. Let me bring up... I what think... I wish that mm-hmm. the um, the numbers was when we got, like, higher... Mm-hmm. Is, like, it, it was just, like, a hundred, you know, a hundred difference. And yeah. then when we got to the thousands, it was, like, a thousand difference. You know, just, like, keep, keep climbing. Yes. So I believe this is last year's um, numbers. So look at Street Fighter, you know, Street Fighter, Street Fighter Six has seven thousand people. That's that's crazy. Not to say that this 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 is a. Uh, I'm not trying to like give it any less credit or anything like yeah, that for Street Fighter no, Six, well, but I'm just making a comparison here. Um, Strive only lost like four hundred players though. That's actually, or no, yeah, yeah, four hundred players. That's actually like. That was a- Consistent. That's strong. Like yeah, they, they, they mm-hmm. strong. Yeah, they are pretty strong, right? Um. So, King of Fighters wow. was still around like six six digits, or not six six six, six right there, but three digits. <laughs> right. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the double here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but King of Fighters has always been. A little, a little more niche in comparison to yeah, it's let's say yeah niche game. yeah even though yeah it's been around I mean, longer but yeah i mean truth be told most king of fight most um casual players know of the king of fighter series through like you know the crossover games like snk versus capcom and stuff like that mm-hmm. only rarely some some will actually play the game like for me i knew king of fighters when it was on the Game Boy, right, and yeah. I never played the uh, the consoles. Also, yes, can I help you? Oh, the cat. You want you want a piece? Okay, get the a piece. Uh, beautiful says. Oh yeah, regarding to Bridget, uh, he's guessing like around two hundred. As Abba hasn't been figured out yet, and then uh, oh, he also says I'm one of those. 5,256 players. That's that's funny. So I guess he, he's registered for uh, Street Fighter 6. So, well, good luck to you. Good luck to you, because there's a lot of players still. Um, but, yeah. So King of Fighters has always been pretty niche, and that's um, kind of unfortunate. Same, and then, But uh, it doesn't also help that uh, there are also other issues. Like, you know, uh, I think there was a, a lack of updates somewhere, but also um, they couldn't, like, fix the matchmaking for a long time. I don't know if they still did, but um, that also caused a little rift in the numbers of the player base. So that did not help as well. 
um, you know, on top of like, you know, all, all the other games are like, you know, doing very well still. That's all. That also is a factor. But Mortal Kombat, right? Like all you would expect to see more from Mortal Kombat, but they're all they're only they're 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 well still well in the uh, three digits. You know, with six hundred and forty-five, right? But you have to remember, um, someone did make a point that um, uh, let me see. So, um, not not that this one. Somebody said it. I forgot where I put it, but anyway, this is, you have to remember that this is like season two, right? Or, or it's not like it's not like fresh off the batch or anything like that. Because I think at the time they did not make it into um, Evo last year. Yes, so um, if that's yeah, because it was still um, Mortal Kombat Eleven Ultimate. Ultimate. Yes, I think as of last year. And by the time it came out, right, it's already, uh, or by the time it's on Evo's thing, it is well into um, its season. So yep. it, that does rift the numbers a little bit. Uh, Beautiful says, KOF, I don't, uh, he doesn't think KOF was on the Game Boy. You might, you might be getting your, um, your handheld consoles mixed up. Neto King of Fighters 97. Hmm. Was it on Game Boy? That I don't remember. It was ninety set? No. no. Oh, it was, it was this one. I'll I'll take them in my Discord. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, and then he mentions that you already ha you already have the dys dyslexia. <laughs> That's funny. You should have the chat on, man. <laughs> oh, actually, it's it's this one. Like I actually have this cartridge somewhere in the freaking house uh, i'll show it to you in a bit. Okay. yes <sighs> and beautiful does also bring up bring up a point there were top characters that stayed on the top for a very long time and people got tired of seeing it so that definitely did not help as well because uh characters like cronin uh were up there uh i don't know if b janae was like that character that people hated to see but she was up there too and you know blah 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 whatever but especially with characters like cronin were up there for a long time and it took them long enough to uh nerve him rightfully so i guess so that also doesn't does not help the niche nature of uh king of fighters hopefully things will be different with uh fatal fury city of the wolves but you know we're talking about kof here so yeah um anyway i don't know in birth uh not much to say but she fired three though third strike yeah that's like um it's kind of like melee right smash melee like an old ass game a lot of numbers right third strike is kind of like that with street fight within the street fighter circle old ass game but still well played and places like japan for example oh. yeah well played, well loved. Some characters in there, uh, I believe some people would like to see in modern graphics and modern, not modern controls, but you know, like fit to, you know, like nowadays um, fighting, you know, fighting um, controls. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, fucking, if, if, if we get a freebie for six and it was like um, 12 or or Sean, uh, I'll be fucking mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, we're getting um, Elena, though. We're what's, getting Elena in Street Fighter 6. Hmm? In Third Strike, it's the long... Yeah, long read. Remy. Remy, yes. Remy. I mean, I wouldn't mind Remy, Remy making it back to uh, Street Fighter 6. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the timeline-wise, he would be just a slight... Like, what, in his 40s? Yeah. Which again, everyone, the Street Fighter cast, they old. Yeah. And Chun Li is like in her 50s. Dalsim is way old too, so. <laughs> Dalsim, Dalsim is a relic. Yeah. It, it's the power of yoga that's keeping mm -hmm. him young and alive. Yes. Young, young in the heart, for sure. 
Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's over a thousand though. That and uh, with that fact, so that's amazing. You know, that, that is an achievement of itself. Uh, I get a lot of parries. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Justin will will enter this one. Enter it or commentate it. Commentate it. it. And I'm sure someone's gonna try and you know recreate the whole "Let's Go Justin" thing, and yeah, you just see the, Justin Evo, just standing up and walking away. It's like. Evo where are you going? <laughs> moment 37, yeah. yeah. I'll be like, mm-hmm. where are you going, Justin? Yeah. Stay. It's your legacy. <laughs> uh let's see. Um Fatal Fury already going to have a better future just because of its symbolism with Street Fighter 6. This is going to put eyes mm-hmm. on it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's the fact that uh you know, on top of that, Terry and Mai are guest characters for Street Fighter 6, so that will help with the attention. Yeah. Um, brought the to, mark yes. of the um, city of the wolves yes. is coming soon. Which again, the art style direction they chose for that game, very good. Yes, yeah, and very it's, reminiscent it's of my eye. Yeah. It's eye appealing. Yeah, uh, eye appealing. Like yeah. it, it doesn't like hurt my eyes. It's like I like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That does help that too. Along with uh, Grand Blue v- uh, Fantasy Versus Rising, um, made a big comeback from its start. Um, so congrats to the to these numbers, right? For these numbers, uh, with the one thousand three hundred and seventy seven, right? You know, uh, it got fucked during the COVID uh, part of the era. Yeah, the COVID years. The the COVID years, yeah, um, was pretty bad for a game like this. So. Uh, did not help though. This was one of the last games to have delayed base net code yeah. for fighting game. So hopefully from that point on, yeah, uh, rollback is a standard. But it looks like it is, so I think we can yeah. uh, rest be rest assured that that is the standard. Um. Well, thanks so, to so get, let's game. Hope and... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go yeah. hope and what? Sorry. I was like, let's just hope and pray. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, view since since we're gonna go to Evo together. I'll take a shot, or I'll take a swing of a bottle if they freaking announce um, somehow Marvel uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with Robot Neko. I will fucking take a swing oh, at a freaking bottle. Oh, man. Man. I uh, like, oh, give me that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if they say Marvel vs. Capcom 4, I'm going to grab an entire case of beer and just be like buy, no 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 you you have to you have to buy everyone in the community a drink <laughs> a round of drinks <laughs> if marvel 4 is announced no i'll no i'll do one better <laughs> me i'll help me i'll help jj make mixed drinks like we'll make mixed drink and we'll be like here you guys go oh man Bling. oh those round of drinks oh man Oh man! You just watch everyone drop. And I'm like, wow. Well, right. It's kind of. It's almost kind of. I don't want to say it's scary, but it's almost like, oh man, that's. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like, it, it is possible. It seems like it is possible at this point. But uh, what, what, it is. Mm-hmm. It is. But I think it will be too early because you know we already got the um Capcom versus Marvel Capcom um. Oh yeah, collection. Yeah. Comic collection. Yeah. So I mean, maybe if the stars align, yeah, we'll get Marvel Four in the works. It's just they could literally just show the title screen or whatever the logo, and then we have to wait what, for like what three or four years after for it to be good or whatever, or two years, two years. But if if they did show Marvel Four, it's pretty much on everyone's minds. Will be the art direction better be good. Yeah. Do not do infinite. Robot Netcode and X Men. You know, that should be a top mm-hmm. priority for character representations. Yeah. 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 And do not. not ha- he says it's not happening, but hey, you never know, man. <laughs> I mean, I, that's why I'm expecting to, but that's why I'm expecting to, but hey, you never know. All right. I know. You never know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but, fuck it, view. If a freaking common writer fighting game comes comes to the west, I think both of us will be screaming. 
Yeah, I mean, unless you count arena fighters, there is a common rider game. But if you want like a full fledged fighting game, then yeah, like that would be yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Oh, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. Um, freaking um, uh, Ono or Harada just comes comes on stage and goes like, okay, for this um special guest character for Tekken, you just hear the common rider theme and it's like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you just catch everyone off guard. It's just only a few people be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but oh, now um, before we also continue, you forgot to uh, tweet it. Oh shit! You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Thank you for the reminder. But could you could you read off of what a uh, beautiful said? Lastly, uh, while I tweet out the show uh, so uh, what view said i don't think they are going to do that just not to cannibalize their games again like during the street fighter four days yeah yeah capcom is playing it smart yeah oops but i wouldn't doubt if they throw another like capcom like fighting game collection again mm-hmm because, you know, I'll bring out the game again. They could just do, you know, like Capcom fighting, you know, fighting game um, collection. And okay, I, I wouldn't mind seeing this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. So I can just so I can just play. Um, Where's my girl? Oh, my God. Of course. There she is. Any common writer game oh yeah. Any common writer game coming to the West would already be crazy news, yeah. It'll be crazy news, yes, but it'll be like very it'll be a niche ass news. Like only a handful of people are gonna play it. Yeah. Unless they like make it look really cool. Um, I can definitely see more bigger numbers or whatever, but if it's just like kind of more towards like shuffleware, then yeah, niche audience. Um, but anyways, I let's really take good care of my disc. No scratch. <laughs> no scratches. But I was what? what I, yeah, what I was going to say though, like you know, the whole rollback netco thing. Strive here was what kind of like made it popularized and standard at that point right when it came out yep. yeah um and it's still going strong with the 2000 uh plus entries uh very consistent from what we've been seeing right it only lost 400 almost, around 400 uh players just from evo alone so that's pr uh, pretty damn good um uh so Great to see a game like this still going strong within the top three anyway. Uh, Tekken 8, finally making it in, right? With almost 5,000 entries, you know? Um, see, I wonder what, what was, it was like when Tekken 7 first debuted at AVO. But I'm not going to bother. Um, still good. Still a very solid number, I'd say. That's a lot of people, you know? So, and... Um, I think we'll definitely see a lot of dragon knobs and stuff like that. Uh, Lily's actually been up there from yeah, what I, I was, yeah, I was, you brought up Lily. I was like, yeah, Lily's been like showing up, yeah, a lot, quite a well, quite a bit, um, yeah, yeah, because of the recent buffs and stuff. I yes, I I I predict we're only gonna see a handful of kings, sadly, handful of kings, um. Yeah, and then who, who's I I I've been hearing Victor's been like sneaking up there too. Victor's been sneaking up, but it, it, it's more like probably he's gonna show up. But once you get to like maybe the top one hundreds, you're gonna start seeing a decline of him showing. You know, yeah, um, okay, making a presence. Yeah, I was I think Addison is still kind of hanging on. Otherwise, I don't know who else is like at least on top of my head anyway is like oh so that's a top top character or whatever 
Like I can see Lars. Lars, yeah, Lars like, is kind of up there. Kind of up there, yeah. And then uh, what's his and then name? once it gets to like again to like the one hundreds, Lars will be like on that cliff holding mm, like yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Who else? I is could like, see yeah. a lot of Jin and Kazuyas. I say more Jin for sure. I haven't seen yeah. too many uh, Kazuyas. Devil Jin has more of a chance, I'd say. Devil right? Jin. Devil Jin. Um, I don't see Yun. I mean Jun. I don't see her June. Yeah, making... June kind of fell off. Uh, surprisingly, I thought she would be solid, but I guess yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, um we're gonna see a lot of her. You know, it's like oh right yeah, Reina. Reina, yeah, gates. yeah. Right out the gates, it's gonna be. Like, yes. Jesus God. <laughs> yes. Reina is up there too. Um, what's his name? Uh, Brian, Brian. Uh, oh, it, oh, Lee, Lee. Oh, uh, yeah, Lee. Uh, Law. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Fangwei. Well, I think we're gonna. Fangwei. See yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Fang, Fangwei was like. Is Fangwei and Dragunov are like up there pretty much. And then, and then maybe I was just saying, I don't know. That that one's a little more. Also, Senna, it's probably we're gonna see her in the like beginning, mm. and then slowly, like she's just gonna be like, oh, kind like, of the same. Out yeah, or... kind of the same with Victor ish. Yeah. Unless we're gonna have that one person that sticks with her, and then she he's just using her to you know climb. Yeah, and then we have Wang Chu. We and then we have Wang Chu with the 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 random Kuma slash Panda. You know. Right, the only like panda slash kuma or bear player, I should say, that yeah, makes it bears. up there. Yeah, that makes it up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we didn't even talk about like. Do you think we'll see um, Yoshi's? Yoshi. Yoshi's? Oh man, Yoshi is super low, man. Like, yeah. just because he's difficult to play. The only the only he's player I know in mind is like kind of rocking Yoshi in tournaments is a uh, I musician. I think his name is. So. But what, it'll be like seen. that 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 big like let's say we're in the top 50s and our yoshi is still there and it's the same consistent player and it's yeah like, holy shit yeah <laughs> that's the thing right so um but yeah i mean but i don't, I don't know i think it's a pretty solid number for tekken 8 you know now yeah. that now that it has finally joined uh you know the rest of the, the modern games right we got street fighter 6 and all that stuff you know Try six, strive, and now we have Tekken eight. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, let's let's see what what is what did Otaku say or Beautiful say? To be fair, this was that was the Hunter Hunter Gaming news niche as hell, but seems pretty much random. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're when we were talking about like common Rider and all the niche stuff. Um, kind of yeah, kind of like Hunter Hunter. You know, situation like. There is a cult following, but at the same time, like a fighting game coming out now is like kind of strange. You know, I felt like it should have been out there when people were talking about it. At least make an announcement, like, "Hey, we're going, we're going to de start developing a fighting game for uh, Hunter Hunter." And especially, you know, how it's looking right now, it looks like like a subpar um, Marvel. Th or no, you know, not even like Tatsunoko uh game. The Tatsunoko versus game. I think though it is made by the same people who did Tatsunoko. But maybe a smaller smaller crew, I think. And lower budget um likely, so yeah. But anyways, uh let's talk about number one, of course. Like you said, no surprise, right? Street Fighter Six with five over five thousand entries, you know. Um, what else could be said, right? What else could be said? Especially with, um, by this point, uh, Akuma is out, and Bison is out, and when is Elena coming out? Is she after Evo or be right before Evo? Like, because they haven't, they, I don't think they've said any, they, they, yeah. Yeah, they gave any really state on, on the order. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we might have like a, uh, What's my call? Like a um beta build? Oh yeah, like a at yeah, Evo like a demo. Did... Elena demos at Evo, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
would probably maybe like unpolish or unfinished um framework of like Terry. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because well, Terry's coming in t in the fall, yes, and then Maya's yeah, coming in into fall. winter, yeah, and then coming into winter. No, wait, actually, no. I, um, I think Elena is last, so she she is actually. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me bring up the uh, the picture or whatever. Um, bring up bring up the uh, the picture. Yeah. Oops, I put you. Yeah, <laughs> I put like. Okay, hold on. I think we may. Be... <laughs> it's like, what were, what were we gonna see? Hmm? SF's okay. Hmm? Okay, there we go. Um, oh, this one doesn't have the dates. Hold on. Um, maybe maybe they'll say it in the thing. Okay, it's taking too long. All right. <laughs> um, I'll just bring up the video. Fuck it. And then just skip we're right into it live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Okay. So let's see. Two. There we go. Uh yes. So okay, so Bi so Bison is that summer character. So he's already out. So I think yep. we're set for Evo. Terry's coming out in auto uh in fall of this year. So yeah, like I said, I I, I I actually was correct. Elena is last, so she's coming out spring of next year. Mai is coming in uh, winter of next year, which is probably right around like January or something, I'm guessing. So quite the gaps for time, right, for each character. But to be fair, they have to make the stories for each of the characters. So yeah, that's why we only have four characters per season for right now, at least. So they're, you know, taking that extra time for the, because they all have, I guess, um, their own segments in world tour. But yeah, no, no new character. Um, probably. So yeah, probably the demo thing will not happen for Elena. Likely, I should say. And then for Terry, I think, uh, they'll have a trailer for Terry at Evo. That's like the best we'll see for Street Fighter 6 news. Um, and then you know they'll probably have like a, a City of the Wolves trailer of some kind at Evo as well to go along with that. At best, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it on that. Uh, we still have uh, over ten thousand players. That's crazy, right? For this year, which means it'll already be ten thousand plus, and uh, like people in general at evo that's a lot of people right so that's a pretty packed evo for sure and also we, these numbers are not uh correlating to like the side tournaments that Evo. Always yeah no 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 that's what i'm saying like yeah it's gonna be ten thousand plus people all together you know yeah no no side tournaments included or anything not even the the non-players you know so it's going to be pretty packed, um, like last year. Um, yeah. So good stuff, good stuff to see. Uh, any other comments you want to throw in there for Evo? Since you're going, you know, as someone who is going. Well, for those going, uh, hydrate yourself. Yes, of course. Tower. Hmm. I swear my nose is gonna be very sensitive. And if if you don't feel comfortable, you know, with large group, bring, you know, bring a mask. No one hmm. should freaking shun you at this point in time. Just just bring the damn mask. Keep yourself safe. That that's what they you know, that's what I'm doing. Dude. Have fun, but be safe about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for the tournament wise, this is gonna, it's gonna be loud. Yes. In the top three. Yes. For sure, for sure. 
You're gonna oh yeah, and since Third Strike is one of the main games, or it's the throwback game, right? You're gonna hear a lot of the the parry sound like choof, choof, choof. <laughs> which I would not um, look past that in Street Fighter Six when people do their parries. You know, mm -hmm. the crowd does the same sound as yeah, uh, Third yeah. Strike. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Beautiful says they're probably spaced out like that. Oh yeah, we're referring to the um, season two DLC for Street Fighter Six. They're probably spaced out like that because of the special announcement for KOF 15. Yeah, true, true. That's right. They uh, KOF 15. Even though yes, we have that as the last end or last uh, place for you know at eighth place. They're still doing updates. They're still they're still going to do some sort of DLC uh, season for KOF and they said it's going to be special so who knows what the hell that's going to be like right who's in it or who's going to make it in there you know what's so special about it I don't know man we'll see we'll see you know I mean literally it might be like this right like I'm going to play that sound again this battle is about to explode you know like pretty much pseudo capcom versus snk kind of thing you know what i mean who knows um so uh, well i mean we're, we're literally like two weeks away i think right so yeah around two weeks so it's right around the corner man so oh let me ask you this zawa if they have the what you call um a booth or it's demo demo booth for um 2xko will you be willing to stay in line and try that game out or yes but if the line looks like it's a fucking disneyland ride i i'll just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't have my fast pass so mm -hmm. i'm like <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but right. Right. If they do have a demo, and then you know you probably you can get one freebie like you know thank you for playing like a, a pin or stuff. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, Dedicate that day for uh to XKO. You know. That's how it kind of works yeah, at I conventions. Mean, yeah. No, I'll bring my you know my uh, portable battery uh, you know battery unit my switch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. And I just hope you know the uh, what you call the um, you know the Wi-Fi or the five five G network towers are are good enough for me, you know, to play. Uh, <laughs> to play endless and just, yeah. I hope there there's no fucking new banners during during this month well because well that that banner is 20 days so or 19 days so you're you're fine i, I don't know you're fine because i think a lot of people yeah they want um uh what's her name ellen the, yes the shark, the shark girl yes me included yes they want her but i think a lot of people wants the one that's well uh, virgil pretty much mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, uh, the what's her name, Miyabi or whatever I think her name her name is, Miyabi, with the with the ears and everything. Uh, um, yeah, the ears and the, yeah, the <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I saw that cutscene. I'm like, oh my god, people are people want that character so bad. I'm I'm definitely sure because that shit was pretty cool. Do I want her? Uh, not really, because I um, yeah. I don't know. Like yeah, she does look cool, but she's not like cool cool for me to like be like, oh my god, you know. Not my, not my type of uh, uh, waifu slash she, girl. She's not. She's not. Um, your. Uh, she's not on the level where uh, Quesacuado is. Yeah. Um, in Fgo. If they somehow fit a girl with wrestling moves into that game, I'm. I'm like. I would join you I'll, on I'll, that banner <laughs> pool. I would join you. <laughs> I, I'm the. I'm the. I'm the kid in the gif with the the credit card like. <laughs> 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 and I'll be fucking John Cena. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. But for right now, um uh when it comes to that, 
uh, Ellen is kind of like the character, but I'm not like putting down money already for for that banner because yeah, it's already it's too soon. Like I don't know if I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, like we just never know. Yeah. I mean, and it's that's what you were said um, to me. Um, what last night when I was you know, catching you on the stream? Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much this whole game. It's still young, so you shouldn't be fucking dropping money. Yeah. Yes. You fresh. It's literally fresh off the block. So. Yeah. Um, that mostly all these characters are mine, and I'm just most three. of them. Yeah, you're just missing the two. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. I'm yeah. missing your your Grace, which you seem to really like her. Mm -hmm. What is Grace actually DPS for? Or is she no, she support? she's more support, but you can like people tr uh, actually are trying to build her to be DPS. So I don't know. Actually, she might be a hybrid. She might be a hybrid character, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's get a move on here. Lastly, with Harada. Um, nothing big or newsy or anything like that. Just another uh, insightful little thing when it comes to his philosophy or anything or anything of the sort when it comes to uh, games and such. Um, so one person said, Jermaine Jones, I guess. Harada, I want to thank you for letting both players play on the right side online. You don't know how much my game would be bad uh, from the other side of the screen, right? And yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't, even, I didn't even know that. Like, I didn't even know or realize that Tekken actually put both players on the same side when it comes to online. So I, I always thought, see, I thought that was strange always. So I'm like, wait, why am I always on the left side, right? All right, and that's like the, that's like you know. Uh, most people's like strong point you know it's kind of like the, you know it's kind of like being right-handed you know right like there's more people right-handed than they're left left-handed and of course ambidextrous kind of thing i'm like i wonder yeah I, I was wondering about that and then yeah and then harada pretty much or this 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 guy and harada pretty much confirmed it like yeah like um we have it so that you're always on the left side starting off online you know that's crazy right but um he made a quote well, harada made a quote tweet saying um i wanted to realize that idea since Tekken six but it was eventually realized in second seven however because of that system many players have trouble getting used to playing on the two, uh, player two side and have a hard time in offline competition so the option to randomly decide uh the playing side is also on our consideration so um, yeah, so very thoughtful, right? Like for the little, very little, for the little things, right? For games like this, you know, but it, it's really like always like the little, little things that do add up to um, one big thing. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, you know, con uh, Harada continuing to be active with the community, right? Um, always like replying to a number of people, even to like the most ridiculous comments like, Oh, what about this character? You know, that kind of character or whatever such, right? And he always had he he uh is more likely to answer than one would expect. So that's kind of like, huh? You know. Um, I think he even had like a like those long like the like that long paragraph about like uh, I think it was like Roger or something. It was like a random character I would not, that, that did not think of, but um. He says something something about something character related. Um, he also he also replied to somebody like, "Oh, what about Gondu? You know the you know the sumo wrestler, you know, because he's not in the game still." Um, let me see. He says something funny about Gondu. Um, I'm wondering if I can find it. Let me see. He does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> he says something about the along the lines of like Ganyu actually being pretty popular in Japan, but um, I think that post sounds like a, a little bit of like dressing up or like exaggeration or even straight up trolling. Oh, oh man, this is this, I forgot about this in, uh, entrance as CEO. So <laughs> this guy Keisuke, um for 
CEO of 2024, when he was making his entrance, he was actually doing like some sort of wave dash kind of thing towards the ring, which is pretty funny. Well, I actually, I let me let me actually play it. From Japan, bro, they all got the towels though. Zeta win. Oh, wait, we got you too. Oh, he did it all the way. Wow, that's funny. Right now, man. Consistent wave dashing. Look, you guys are electrified. That's funny. That's so funny. I actually thought he did it with like, um, you know, those like, uh, remember those Heelys? You know, the you know, the shoe with the wheel on the back on your on your heel. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he did with that, but damn, he actually did with his just just his shoes, like the regular ass shoes. All right. Credit credit to uh, KSK. I I forgot who yeah, won. Leg day. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot who won Tekken Eight for CEO. I don't know. I don't know if it's him. Did he actually win it? He was actually he was like he was like one of the top. I know, but oh, second place. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so he did not win, unfortunately. But um, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, but back on to uh, what's his face, Harada San. Oh, I saw this picture too. The <laughs> real life lol <laughs> with uh, Lily cosplayer and uh, Asuka cosplayer having a drink together. Asi, I think S C E O. Yeah, it is S C E O. Yep, that's funny. That's actually cute. I think it's like a pretty well done cosplay for both of them. Um, oh wow, Eliza cosplay? Damn, okay. Yes. Go back to that pants. Where? Oh. Right there, I would love that. What is, oh, this is just like a Tekken 8 thing. Okay, yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. Edwin, okay. Edwin brand. And of course, you gotta have the picture, right? With the thumb, the thumbs up and the heart. Half I, heart. I I wonder if I do get a picture of Justin, should I break the curse? Could <laughs> I be the one that breaks the curse and everyone just dog piles on me going like, like why did you do it? <laughs> hey man, that's up to you. That's up to you. Oh, I could be like when he does this, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, like man. Yeah. Daisy Steve, Jay Bailey, a lot. He posts a lot, actually. God damn. Oh, there you go. So, one person asked, Hey, Harada, I understand Ganyu isn't, isn't popular, but does he have an illegitimate or estranged child or student so I can still sumo in the future Tekken games? And he replies, Harada replies with, No, you misunderstand. Ganyu is so popular in Japan that he is such he, uh, he has such a following that fans protest in front of our office every morning. <laughs> Ganyu, however, is on his way every time, on his way, quote unquote. Uh, so it's just up to him to make it in time. <laughs> so I think this is like a semi trolley post, but basically saying, yeah, I think he's popular enough that we'll have him come in at some point or something. We'll consider him. Once again, <laughs> you beautiful said you break the curse and the community breaks you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, then I'll be just on the ground going like, mm. <laughs> or and then just going going to the Yamcha pose like <laughs> yeah the Yamcha pose exactly <laughs> like yep. The single person preventing Ganyu from being added to the uh, roster. Oh yeah, Julia. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Ganyu is a um, Julia simp. Because Julia is not in the game as of this moment. So no, she's um uh, saving you know the rainforest. And oh yeah, the rainforest stuff. with live streams and such. Yeah, that's right. Like like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, that's right. That's funny. Um, yeah, and then Ganyu is trying to do the same thing, I think. But yeah, he's such a simp for Julia, it's so funny. 
Although honestly, I think Bob and Julia are are a better pair, especially from uh, uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Or no, no, excuse me, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Excuse me. I don't want to get people riled up, possibly. What man? What happened? What, hap what, what happened to uh, Tekken? You're just gonna have um, Harada like chase you off stage. <laughs> We have homework. <laughs> homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say though, uh, whatever happened to um, Tekken Cross Street Fighter? Man, that that game has been like in, stuck in limbo for such a long time. Because remember when Street Fighter Cross? No, yeah, Street Fighter Cross Tekken was announced. They uh, teased in a way, right? They teased about Tekken Cross Street Fighter as like a you know, like a return sort of to complete the deal, quote unquote. But they never finished it. But instead, they put Akuma in, in Tekken 7. <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a, what a story. It's kind of like, uh, remember StarCraft Ghost? Remember that game? Kind of like that. Like it's been stuck. It was stuck in limbo for such a long time, and I, I think they finally like, said it was canceled or something, with to no surprise, to nobody's surprise. But yeah, doesn't exist anymore. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hey man, they 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 made those. They made models for Ryu and stuff, but that was that was a test model. But yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. It exists somewhere out there, man. That's how that's how it is. Beautiful. <laughs> nah, uh, in, in some other universe. In another universe, exactly. <laughs> in another universe. Alrighty, so we don't have anything for the front line. Like I said, thank God. Uh, so we're gonna go straight into the game's news. So let me play this one. All right, so this one's a strange one, potentially for the Sega fans. Um, let me read this up. So Sega reveals somehow and randomly that there is going to be a new Crazy Taxi game, but it will be an open world MMO. What are your thoughts on that? Just right away. Welcome to Crazy. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of feel mixed because like I actually did play a good amount of Crazy Taxi at my friend's house, you know, because like you know I had like two friends that had the Dreamcast, so <laughs> I I I played a Crazy Taxi like no tomorrow because like you know what I mean like that that's like a rare occasion, so played a hell out of it. Yep. And then there's arcade of course, but you know, but yeah, Sega so Dreamcast, man, what a what a what a console that was, right? But yeah, Crazy Taxi is definitely one of, one of those games, right? Um, it's very arcadey. You're by yourself, essentially. You're just getting a high score, right? There's no real story, nothing deep. But now they're going to try to bring it back as an open world MMO. So... I don't know. How's that going to work? Like, what's that going to look like? Are we going to be able to customize our dude or chick or whatever? Tax or um taxi cab, right? What's what's so MMO ish about it, right? Are we going to also like or are, are is it just gonna be like um like DTA online where you're just gonna see other players just go you know zooming across the same city or something like as you're doing your your taxi stuff? Now I'm pretty sure like there there was a uh what do you call an interview about it. That's how it was revealed via interview, not so much like a Sega Direct or something. Um Oh that's funny. There's an ARC video right now. <laughs> Anyways, um oops. Crazy taxi. Um blah, 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 blah. It's somewhere on, yeah, 2024. Uh, let me see. 
I guess we can just go off of stream spot. It was like, it was like, like dropped along with, yeah, new Jet Set Radio, new Shinobi, new Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and Crazy Taxi. So it was, it was like dropped all at once or something. I think. Yeah, so this is from GameSpot. Jesus, girl, fucking breathe when you eat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Easy taxi, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Did you save the game? Really? Of course I did. Sega. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. The eye. That's that's how the yeah. That's the intro for Sega. There's Switch of Rage. Shinobi. That's cool. Golden Axe. And then there's Crazy Taxi right there. And more, it says. Okay, so there's more Sega games being developed. Oh, there you go. See the eye. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. What the jump fuck? scare? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, uh, you know what? What if, like, the ones that has the Sega, you know, on their eyes, is that that's all they see now? Like, yeah. Every so often, it's like, a curse. The Sega logos yeah. It's a fucking curse, man. <laughs> Um, I thought there was an interview somewhere, but whatever. It might be like an IGN thing or, or IGN exclusive or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, so either way, there is a new Crazy Taxi coming in. It is an MMO apparently, so I don't know if I'll pick it up, but we'll see. If it if it actually plays like like a typical RPG MMO or whatever MMO RPG, then no thanks. I'm not gonna spend my time with that. But uh, if it's just like if it's just like more like GTA Online, then yeah, I'm um, with minus minus the stealing cars, of course. Uh, well, instead of stealing cars, you probably steal um fares, you know. Oh, like in. people, yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be kind of annoying, but whatever. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, I mean, thoughts? Are you crazy for Crazy Taxi? I just pay the cabinet. Let's see again. You know, the whole, like, the big ass, you know, arcade cabinet. Mm -hmm. Right? Like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I would also hope you, you can play on the steering wheel or something. Or have that option. That'd be pretty cool. Um,. I wonder though if this is going if this particular one is going to be free to play and then like of course they have a the microtransaction stuff for the, all the cosmetics um as a way to make their money, you know. Or mm -hmm. is it just going to be yeah, or is it just going to be um a traditional ass game you pay like what 30 or 30 bucks for it and then have your merry way, you know? Or $60, I don't know. Or hopefully not a seventy. This is not. I don't think Crazy Taxi will be a seventy dollars game. I hope not. Anyway, unless everything is in the game, like you can just play it and then you unlock shit in the game. But this being an MMO, it's got it's got to have some sort of microtransaction thing, unfortunately. But this is how it kind of how it goes. And then like, what about the? Well, I I don't think the rest of the games are like that i don't think shinobi if shinobi is just a single player game i'm sure and then uh golden axe i can definitely see being mo online multiplayer uh jesse radio i don't know about that 
and then and then of course apparently they did say uh more so i guess there would be more yeah. games coming along the way uh oh so beautiful says something about taking cross street fighter says probably not anymore it was happening during the time when ono was around and i don't know if harada would continue the rest that is true at that point like yeah ono is out and then um harada and his team are so busy with just tekken in general that i yeah I, you know it is probably likely that they're just gonna put the put it to rest don't even need to say oh it's canceled or whatever because i think yeah it's just a pretty sure sign that yeah that's what it is right it was just a a passion project of sorts but then they're just like yeah fuck it you know it's almost kind of like you know the uh when you're an artist right and you want to draw something you're like oh yeah that, you know this idea came in my head and you start drawing it and you're just like eh i'm over it you know probably that's that probably what what uh what happened which, which is a shame, but um, I guess that's what it is for taking cross Street Fighter. But back on to here. Um, let's continue the game's news. Okay, so now we can open the can up for Zenlin Zone Zero. So yes, the game came out 4th of July for the most part. Right. And uh, not only myself played it, but Zawa actually played a good amount of it. He's a level 28 in the inner knot level. Or pretty much rank or 30 yeah oh wow wow you already hit 30 so there you go I'm, I'm, yeah you're 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 zooming though to be fair i i do play zenla zone zero on stream um so that's why i'm like purposefully behind because you know i want to show the cinematics and stuff like that for through streaming and stuff like that but but um i am almost 25 myself but um as you did put a good amount of hours to it how do you feel what what, what are your what are your thoughts about it, man open the open the floor <laughs> glasses off the game has a, uh, the game has its issues yes for sure for sure for sure compared to the other M oh, and most the mobile games that i play they're yeah. energy uh, consumption and um, getting it back is horrendous. It, yes. Yes. I'm glad you said that. It, it's it, like you can't really farm to make your team. You're always going to have that one character that's going to be higher level than the others. Yeah. Which I get. I get. It, it's still early, but you would think by because this is um, what Hoyo versus third official game, right? Well, I mean, you, you have to count uh, Honkai Impact third, and they've made, they've made more games before, but yeah. like within like the modern era, I say yeah, the three games, yeah, whatever, you know. You would think by the third time around, they kind of like improve, you know, what people probably you know said about the other two games, like hey, you got to because. Isn't that like how, um, like Genshin was their guinea pig, right? In a way, yes. And then Star Wars was like what they semi improved. Yeah, they put all the quality of life features that Genshin needs, but they put that into Star Wars for some reason. Star mm -hmm. So you would think they would do one more step higher. Yeah. Like more quality of life for Zen Song. And it sounds like they kind of not really copy paste but they they were like oh people like um star rail so why why the hell should we just you know make it better we'll just mm -hmm. make it the same and you know sp spray coat it a new new color and ta-da right so, right so yeah that that's my complaint right now is just like there's there's not a big chance of you playing playing the game to its fullest you're bound to energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yes um, yes yeah another complaint i have it might be niche i fucking hate the 
the TV dive. I, I hate that section. That is not a niche thing. You are absolutely in the it, you are in the crowd like with that complaint. I, I do not like the TV system. There are many people, many players that do not like the TV system. Like it was cute at first, but yeah, to, but to have a consistency, it breaks the flow. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because you, you could be in that that TV phase for like what twenty five minutes, and then yeah. you only have like a total of like less than ten minutes of actual like character gameplay. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Like, what the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. And the rewards that you get in there, it, it's it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just like money to, you know, to use, you know, money to, you know, pay for upgrading your units. But it's like, you're giving me all this money, but it's the mat that I need mm -hmm. <laughs> the most. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's on top of my head of what's wrong. I mean, I'm sure there's more, more stuff. No, I, I'm let's very. Go with, yeah, go ahead. Let's let's go on the positive. Mm, go ahead. Yeah. The combat's all right. It 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 takes some getting used to because you know, like, uh, the the parry system. To me, depending on which character you use, they they have like nice animation mm -hmm. to to the parries. But it does get a bit dull after like the tenth fight. Yes, that's why again you have like the other characters, you know, to throw in to you know just mix it up. But yes, but um, what I wish because there are some characters you look, it looks like you know they can follow up if they just jumped and continue their combo. But no, it, it's like everyone for some damn reason is afraid to go in the air. That, man, you're you're like nailing so many points. Except for Ben. Ben, yeah. I think, well, he jumps in the air, then he slams down. But yeah, I, I just wish like when he jumps in the air, you could just like whack him and then mm -hmm. strike the person mm -hmm. down. Yes. And then like, um, like in here like he has a um a, like it looks like you're well he, he actually launched the thing up and it's like can i do a follow-up yeah no yeah. i gotta wait till they land back <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah the combat's fine wish they thought a bit more to do more air combos or yeah or uh, I, I guess I didn't try it yet for like a mono team or have actual like team members because I think only what Ben and yeah I, again I don't know Coletta the, Coletta Coletta but I call her Koala yeah because he kinda... much more, <laughs> much much more easier to remember yeah. Bear and a Koala yeah they have when you use them they have different um, attack animations yeah yeah. So I wish, like, um, for like, if you use like at least two, two units from the same house or faction, you know, they have their own unique uh, uh, anim attack animation, or like, um, I don't know, the maid service. Mm -hmm. of while Ellen is like twirling her, was it a sphere? It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. giant pair of shears. Yeah. Yeah. So Ellen, she at the end of her combo, and you have if you have Lycan, and you, um, he's just like there. I guess like because what's her last like animation hit? It, it's like a stab, right? Like a thrust. Something like that. Yes. Like maybe when she thrusts it, like Lycan just comes running in and then just kicks it, you know, kicks the spear in even more. That would be pretty cool. Just, yeah. Like a, they, they just, just look at each other and then Lycan just 
fucking fucks off. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, it's the same thing. Like, like because Lycan's um, last hit is um is like a like a foot dive. So again, maybe when you have um, oh, what's the um, ice steam girl? The, oh, the oh, 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 um, so uh, Sokaku, yeah. Yeah, so Kaku. Okay, even though she's not part of the same um, maid service as a uh, Lycan, yeah. she's ice. So maybe when Lycan like dice kick, she comes flying in with her. It's pretty much a war fan, right? Uh, yeah, and like a ghost. giant war fan thing. I I don't know what that is, but yeah. Yeah, and then just and she just like when you when he kicks and she just also slams on, slams the. The opponent down too, and then also adds the ice attribute. Yes, and she just like goes hee hee, and then goes whoosh. So I think there is potential, maybe in the near in the future of this game, to like stuff like that. But yeah, you gotta mix it up. There are moments though when you parry well to just hear the you know the parry sound, and you're like. Ooh. There are moments of satisfaction, yes. The dopamine, right? The dopamine, yeah, the dopamine can... like when you do the, you know, the perfect parries, the perfect dodge, and yeah. you're just doing a consistency, and it's like, I'm autopiling this shit. I mm-hmm. would. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So the game has high ups and downs. Yes. I give zero shit about the story. Yeah. Right now. I'll tell you that. I give yeah. zero shit. Right. Um, how do you feel about like the actual gotcha? Like, you know, like animations, but also like, you know, uh, you know, pulling a character and like the rates and all that stuff. Like how how do you, how do you feel? How do you feel? Compared to like let's say Fake Go, Dokkan. Mm-hmm. What 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 else scotches do I do? <laughs> oh, the oh, Final Fantasy, right? Don't you play the Brave yeah, Exodus? Brave Exodus, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tokyo After School Summoners. Do not look that up. Oh, <laughs> do not God. look that up. Oh man. Uh, Sor- Sororika. Animation wise, it fits. It fits the theme. Yes. To um, <laughs> to Zenless because you know you use uh, film reel. You have TVs, and then when you when they turn around, it's like it's a studio. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's like ooh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, as I was talking to Hawk earlier about um, the difference between mobile and the consoles, when you get an S rank unit or thing in on console, your controller vibrates, and on the PS Five because it has the little um. Speaker, uh, speaker yeah. on the on the controller, it actually like emphasizes the uh, the sound. The, like the sounds, like congratulations, look, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you got it. It's like wake up, it's like wake up. Yeah, here it's just dun 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 dun. dun. Right. Mm-hmm. Ta-da. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. So, so I to me I think I did a good call of just maining the game on the console because yes because yeah yeah playing it you know playing it like this and stuff is nice and all but my fingers sometimes slip from the from the top so mm. it changes the camera angle and I'm like mm. oh, oh god <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. level you up yeah good luck trying oh, to yeah. play Genshin on the phone because that's yeah. From what I hear, people, or from what I notice, not here. How uh, my friends played played Genshin in the day because they had it on mobile and um and on PC. Mm-hmm. They'll play on PC, but they will pull on the mobile. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I was like, why? I was like, what? What's all that about? They're like, oh. Because you see, there's there's in their minds like there's console RNG and then there's <laughs> mobile RNG. Oh my god! I was like, okay, tinfoil hat, I got you. 
Yeah, that's funny. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh but if if it's if if that's there, you know, like their their safe space to of uh, thinking, you know, you know, I'm not gonna deny it. I'm just gonna I'm like. Mm -hmm. I just thought I put this up. This is like this is like the perfect picture, I guess, for this segment. But yeah. Anyway, uh, was this, there... this is the perfect. No, picture. It, yeah, I know. Yeah, for, this... for you, for you, yeah, obviously. So uh, okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't have a sexy Ben behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, which again, I when when the animation is there in the cutscenes, yes, they're well animated, yes. But again, it, it comes to the to that small little point of like how I was like kind of complaining last time is that they move too noodly and like like, like they're like, yeah they're like like Jello like ooh, yeah because I get it, I get it. I, I I don't know where are you in at the moment. Have you met Ben's group? Yes, I I Have just you, I okay. just met them. So like that first impression of Ben, it's like wow, mm -hmm. he is so strong. Hi, it's like yeah. it's just like how the hell did you just <laughs> snake your ass here? I, I, you're no, a big ass bear, and somehow you you just fucking sloop down and up. It was funny to see. You're the main character thinking, oh, the bear is the uh, the president, but uh, and he's like, they, they had the, the light shining on him and everything. He's like, oh wow, he's so big and all that stuff. Well, I mean, uh, take that out of context, but anyways, but um, um, and then and then like Ben's all like, um, like he, oh, you no, know, he's no, a bear, I'm he's not. a bear, but he's a he's like a big bear, but he's like so like he's like soft and like oh, it's nice, it's so nice to meet you, like kind of. Like he's very humble, yeah. very. He's, humble. He, he's the he's the definition of a gentle giant. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like, like a teddy bear. He's he's basically a teddy bear. Like you know, um, you know, when people at the gym, they're like big and muscular and all that shit, but like they're just like really nice and like, hey, like, oh, it's nice to meet you. Oh, you want any help? You need help with the, you know, you know, with the spotting or whatever, like that that type of person, right? Like very very nice with a big big body, you know, big intimidating body. And then the. Uh... And then for those that are going to try and um, play Zenless, and if you need help on the pairing system and the and the um, uh, dodging, for me personally, get Ben as soon as you can. He he's pretty much your 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 training wheels of how mm -hmm. to um, how to time your counters, how to um, like. To see what you can do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Ben Ben Ben's pretty fun in in any team because right. he is the definition of mm -hmm. the tank. All right, hold that thought. Hold on, uh, I gotta uh, take care of something. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, we timed it well. <laughs> um, you went to do something, and I went to grab this out of the kitchen. So no, the <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. Um, sorry about that. Funny, funny little story. My mom was knocking on the door because she couldn't open a jar of kimchi. <laughs> Ooh, ho homemade or store bought? No, it's just store bought. No. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Uh, this, this, see, this, see, this is a little. We thing. we're on a we're on a wavelength when it comes to food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> Uh, I used to also hate eating these things, but I don't know. I enjoy them now. Cheese sticks. I used to hate them. Oh, isn't that the the one you can like like pull the pull it off like a yeah. string, but you just eat it like I'm... <laughs> I eat it like a fucking like banana. <laughs> Bananies. Banana, yeah. Oh, sorry. So, right, so, so you're so you're saying about Ben? I think. Yeah, right. Ben. The training wheels. Ben is a good training wheel to yes. do your parries. And yes. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from what I noticed, when you do his final atta um, attack in the string, he launches up. So about, I want to say 75% of the time, um, he pretty much 
does not get hit in the air because from the bosses or anything. it's so funny if you say that because yeah i i, I noticed that because like a lot of, a lot of bosses like to do sweeping <laughs> sweeping attacks so when you're attacking with ben you jump up and you just avoid the sweep and then boom it's so funny which again i mean yes his pillar is like i guess rocket powered you know that's why he's launched mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he launches way in the air but again that pillar looks like looks like it weighs a ton and mm -hmm. so you also have ben's weight so it's like mm -hmm. how how you fly <laughs> explain to me mm -hmm. right and i can't find the video but apparently someone made the video of um ben doing that and then when he sl slams down on his ass <laughs> Like the next screenshot is, you know, Squidward's face like <laughs> crushed with a butt pit. And I was like, <laughs> they're like, you know what? Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that, that's about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to uh, point out? Like, uh, you were, you were kind of talking about the style, um, like care design. Like, what do you think of the character designs particularly? They're, they know their core audience. Let's get that for, out of the way. For they sure. Know they, 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 they were checking off everything. Yes. Like, yes. Do we have the Lolita people that, you know, that like some Lolitas? Do we have, you know, the crazy little um, feisty chick? Yes, we do. Do we have that stoic um, hero type? Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and do we have the furry character that you know our the artists are going to freaking do, right? Which I I fucking guarantee you, this was drawn by a freaking furry artist that they just asked to do it to make it official. Well, I think that's the same artist for everyone or for every character. It's, it's the one. It's just that one artist. So damn man, they probably just pick um somebody who has experience with furries. I know it's like it's it's pretty much like can I see your portfolio yeah. of your art yeah. pieces? Do yeah. you have any furries? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not that good. Oh, mm -hmm. draw this, mm -hmm. but none of this part. Just yeah. draw this. <laughs> right. Just draw the upper part. <laughs> yeah. Who who do you and have? I, I, oh, sorry. But before you go on, who do you have for your S ranks? Like who who what S ranks do you have? Or, or rather, what S rings you're missing? Okay, so I'm missing Grace. Mm -hmm. Grace, and then Coletta, right? Or Coletta, you, okay, and, Coletta. Mm -hmm. And Soldier Set. Uh, Soldier Set missing. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be that would be funny actually, but um, that would be funny if she had a skin outfit mm -hmm. that almost resembles Soldier, Soldier 76. 76. Like, yeah. But then, you know, uh, no, I don't think Blizzard will even knock. It will be Hoya versus Hoya. Hey, <laughs> right. I, you guys need some money. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. Which, oh shit, we forgot to put that. That could have been a front line. Um, recently, Overwatch 2, which I don't know how many people still play, they have the Transformers event. Oh, oh, they did. Oh, okay. What, what, what was um, happening there? All I know is one of the skins, um, it's Ramatra. Mm -hmm. Good tank name. Uh, his skin, I believe, is Megatron from G1. Oh, shit. Okay. So it's like, it's like you didn't get me with the, uh, with the Cowboy Bebop, but just putting Transformers in Generation 1 playing with me <laughs> mm -hmm. oh but um oh wow we got some bot was that a bot or something look like a bot look like a bot name anyways uh what but um overall like the aesthetics of each faction or household you know is different they don't look the same they have their own unique attire yeah yeah so that's what i like it's i like, like the faction thing yeah for sure all right. Um, I just wish that. Um, I mean, they do, you know, call out when you character switch them or parry. Yeah. But I I wish there were like unique dialogues. Mm hmm. 
So, like, let's say with Lycon and um, Rena. Yes. When when you switch with them, they'll be like, like you know, something funny. Like Rena's yeah. like, "Oh, Lycon, take care of this. The tea is ready." You know, like something like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Like, yeah, yeah. Like play around with like their faction. Yeah, the faction or stuff. From what mm -hmm. what what it looks like is um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really funny <laughs> oh man i mean and then like with Kolea and Kolea and um ben yes because you know she, she's feisty so she should be like the loud one going like move it you're in my way you know when she when she you know comes onto the field yeah you know i don't know why some people in the other chat in the Yo Video Games Discord is fucking saying that they that Billy I remind them of Billy. It's like what? Mm. It's like right. why why am I Billy? I'm not Maybe the Tokusatsu part, but I don't know. But isn't he just all machine? He's a he's a cyborg, so he has some sort yeah. of organic part somewhere. Maybe the brain, but uh well, it's much more call. He is he is an otaku for uh, tokusatsu stuff because he ke always keeps up keeps bringing up a Starlight Night. Always brings that up. Starlight shines bright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Um. Oh, did did you see the trailer that I DM'd you with? Uh, that involved with Zenless. No, I thought we were, you were just showing me like, hey, keep an eye out for this. Oh, we're gonna talk about this. Oh, oh, oh. oh I, I mean, I wanted to see it, like fresh eyes. Okay, I see. Um, Along with you. Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't know that was. A, no, 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 no. it's okay. A... I mean, I can kind of like sum it up. It basically shows off more characters. It basically shows or teases the upcoming characters for Zenless Zone. Like, um, also men, it. it also starts to kind of like expand the lore a little bit because it involves how, how long was this oh yeah it's like four minutes so yeah I'm, i don't, don't want to go through the whole thing but um it basically shows like um <laughs> it's funny they're called a seven right some sort of seven group or whatever the seven i'm just gonna call them the seven um they show like, oh, this person made the bang booze. Oh, this person standardized how you get into the hollows. Oh, this person did this and stuff like that. So, yeah, because I think she right here, I think her name her. She goes by Sunbringer. That's funny. Because Wrong. <laughs> that's Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Yeah, that's Joan of Arc <laughs> Alter. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, she yeah, it says she invented the bang boo or bong boo. Excuse me. Um, this oh, that's the other thing. Uh, the bongos. Mm -hmm. It. I like their. There's. They're different. Yeah. They have different attributes, and they. Mm -hmm. You can work your team around the bongos, the bangus, or just have them as you know an extra pair of damage. So the one I got. You see what is the view? Overactive, speaks fast, and move. <laughs> is that why? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised that's coming from beautiful because yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a long talk about this later. Evo. Anyways, so like my team is Ben, Lycon, and um, Rena. Mm -hmm. So, from what I can tell with Rena, she she is semi a crowd control um, con crowd control dot person because her um, sparks were electrical. Yeah, and then when my Bamboo, who's the um, S rank um, gravity. Uh, gravity one yeah just makes it all better just you know grabs everyone in one spot and then 
the rain and you know i can have lichen come in do his dps or just been oh and that's the thing too uh when reina's well triangle for me uh special attack is fully charged mm -hmm. she drops you know she does raindrops. I call yeah. them the raindrop. Mm -hmm. And you can instantly switch to Ben. And but I guess that's for every other character. Yeah. That depending on which one, you can actually just fast fast switch them and continue the combo. So mm -hmm. That's why I like Marina. So I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's good. Yeah. But she's too fucking floaty. I mean, yeah, a ghost girl, right? So, yeah. Uh yeah, and then there's this, there's this guy right here, and his he goes by a name Joyous, and he is the one. I don't know that 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 face don't show me joy. That yeah. face shows me like get the fuck off. He <laughs> reminds <laughs> he reminds me of the dude from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen that only talks in fish. Oh, uh, but yeah, no, yeah, because uh, if he talks, he actually does like he he yeah he has like spells right. He has like spells that yeah, yeah involve with talking yeah. So he has to like not reverse talk, but just like gibberish. Yeah, he, he talks, talks gibberish. Yeah, he talks like gibber. Yeah, fish related gibberish or something like that, or some sort of yeah, gibberish. Yeah, but, but but basically, this guy, I believe, he's the one who um, standardized how you enter the hollow and stuff like that. Yeah, it says yeah, created the standard for ho uh, hollow exploration routes. So. A lot of like big names have been dropped, and then this girl, like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> which one? The guy, the, the guy with the helmet on. Wood. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, I told you, I, I, fucking, what's his name? The general. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, oh, captain. Yeah, the the captain. Yeah, the captain. Uh, <laughs> I told you straight up, like, wood. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you don't even know who he is. I was like. Don't matter. Don't matter. Yeah. Would. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're called. Okay. Like, yeah. Can you show me this spot, uh, this this screenshot, and you can just lie to me, like, oh yeah, this these are upcoming servants for FGO. You can just fucking lie to me <laughs> right now. Oh, that's funny. Like, yeah. You can ultimately lie to me that these are like the other knights of the round table that like, you can just lie to. Oh me. yeah, and then this this dude, I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? What's this character all Wood. about? <laughs> but the flame, <laughs> the flame must be off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> Professor Art? Like a bird? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, if you're if you're you're signing up you're signing up for that if you're trying if you want to go with fucking uh, this professor right here. That's what you're signing up for. And I guess it's like you know what? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's the other thing. Like when you're in the story or you're going into the hollow. Yeah. Because you brought up um, Juju Kaisen. Yeah. Each little bubble in my dumbass head, I'm like, oh wow, that's a domain expansion yeah, right there. Do domain ex <laughs> yep. It it kind of pretty much that's what it is, you know. Yeah, and then they yeah. Um so they're essentially I'm the surprised. seven yeah. seven heroes, yeah. They're called this yeah, the seven heroes or something. Void hunters, I think. I don't know. Anyway. Go ahead. See, you, you said they are the sevens. Yeah. That's why you immediately thought of. Right, the boys. <laughs> I was like, okay, which one is Homelander? Yeah, if, which one of you? If, which one if, of you is Homelander? Yeah, what if the what if these people like in the silhouette or whatever, they're they're all like equally fucked up in the head or something, and they do like all these nasty things and stuff like that. Okay, they, go back to the the one in the armor. The one in the armor? Yeah, him. Yeah. He's like, wow, you're so cool. But he has the fucking personality and the mannerism of the deep. I'll be like, oh, oh. My, oh. That'd <laughs> be, be like, oh, no. uh, yeah. Okay. That'd be so be like, funny. Go away. Who <laughs> and then I guess the one in the middle <clears throat> would be, um, what's her name? 
Firecracker. Oh, Firecracker, yeah. We need a, the one, the the one that made the uh, the way to go into the um, the hollow. Oh, could be like uh, a train. Yeah, <laughs> a, tra- a train. A train. Yeah, that'd be. <laughs> that was oh. the personality of each. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then the one that we we said, oh, this I don't care what your name is, you're you're fucking Joan of Arc. Oh, it's Sunbringer, yeah, um, yeah. She's um Queen Maeve. She acts like a uh, yeah Queen Maeve. Yeah, Queen Maeve. Well, maybe she's the one that acts like Homelander. Oh yeah, she could be the female Homelander. Yeah, you're right. That could be really funny. Oh yeah, this is the Swordmaster. This is this is the uh, like the head of the Hoshimi family. So basically, I think Miyabi is like one of the six uh, candidates for the successor or something. I, I forget what she is. But she is, but she right here is like the top. The top. So if you thought Miyabi is already cool, she's like way more powerful, I guess. Just from lineage alone. She's pretty much sit down, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sword master, blah, blah, blah. Sunbringer right here. Um, yeah. I don't know where these people come in, though. That's the thing. Um, but I guess they're part of the seven or whatever. She, yeah, mercenary trope or whatever. Um, I don't know where their place is. Actually, it would be so funny, like the, the knight. Mm-hmm. So he's pretty much a knight. Oh, so apparently they pushed. Okay, so they pushed the dark wall that that far back or something. Okay, so they're powerful. They're basically a powerful group of sorts. Oh, so, so to put in anime terms for for people, these are bleach captains. Bleach cap, pretty much bleach captains. Yeah. I wouldn't say they. I mean, you could also say they they could be um. Um. What's it called? Maybe emperors, pirate emperors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To which now, if if we make them into one piece, who's who's the top four? You know, to like establish, you know, the top four powerful ones. Mm-hmm. There's there was White Beard. Yes. And there was um. There's still Shanks. That again, we still don't know what the fuck he can do. Right. Except for Emperor Hockey, which is like, is that what you can do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then this is pretty much kind of like teasing the zones. Like, you have New Eridu, I think that's where we're at right now. But then we have the Ruins, we have the Chasm, Expansion Zone, and there's Hollow Zero. So I think this is might this might be where the Hollow in the, uh, first happened. Yeah. yeah. Ground, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, Ground Zero. I'll- yeah, I was gonna say ground zero, patient zero. Yeah. Or maybe that whole thing is is, you know, hollow zero, like the entity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know, they look like zits. I just wanna go. This is what it says you wanna <laughs> <laughs> uh It's like we need to stop these these, you know formal formalities mm-hmm. like happening. Up. Yeah. How did you do that? And then not to mention, right, not only we have these people, right, um, you also have the AIs. You have Genie, you have uh, Fairy, which we have right now. Yeah. Fairy, Yokai, and then some other stuff. So you have like the seven, you got the, you got these AIs, like you already have the, the, the groups, right, being established, you know, on top of the factions that we, we have. So that's pretty um funny you know like the whole trope you know in anime you have like the uh the big you know seven samurai kind of group or like you know like the big four you know the bat big bad four you know what I mean? <laughs> oh the oh the legendary three you know with signing remember that remember that in naruto um the uh akatsuki right kind of group <laughs> Um, you mean the boy band? The boy, yeah, right. No, um, Kanan was the only girl, but still, it was new. Right, 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 right. Band. Yeah, pretty much, right. Um, 
What was another group? Oh yeah, the 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 uh the Espada, right? The ten Espada. Remember that? Espada, the the Bleach Captains. The Bleach Captains, yes. The God Hands. Yeah. Or the God Fingers from Berserk. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, Speaking of anime, sorry, no segue. Did you know that Rodma One Half is getting a reboot and it launches in October? That was like a shadow drop. Yeah, I kind of, I, yeah. I, I barely know that. So it's like, what the hell? Like, I didn't know about that. Yeah. And then another like shadow drop mm-hmm. was from um, like a a few weeks ago it's a re reboot or re telling not re uh, not retelling it's like a reboot or a um continuation mm. of magical night rare earth and i was like oh yeah holy yeah holy how, who in clamp is going like we you know what we should bring back magical night rare earth is like we're hot what <laughs> yeah, they they need to finish fucking uh Tsubasa. Like what the fuck? They they, they need to Tsubasa finish Tsubasa fucking died. <laughs> yeah, Tsubasa well the Super anime hard. Yeah, Tsubasa the anime never finished and then Yeah, never finished. The manga finished, but the anime never finished. They need to do that. Like what the fuck? It's been so long. Yeah, and then I, and like I was talking to like the uh, you know Max's chat on Discord, like what what animes or mangas should you know have that like that grace of like having a reboot or a resurgence? Mm. I put I said Nana, like I listed like Nana, which is a good fucking um manga and anime. Mm. And I said Metabots. And I was like, yeah, Metabots in today's like animation style would actually look good. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, you you miss the the hand drawn and stuff, but because it's a mech, it could benefit from what Sunrise does for for its Gundam series. Mm. Yeah. And then I, I threw in like, oh, just for he, haha, <laughs> fucking initial D, mm-hmm. but have like the same tracks, but you know, updated for modern, you know, like with modern like equipment and stuff. Yeah. And actually show that when you're talking about racing cars, this is how you do it. High Fast and the Furious, you guys mm-hmm. drop that off right after a fucking Tokyo Drift. <laughs> and you guys went to fucking space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, back to Zenless. I'm going to say they're, all these captains or whatever are not going to be like out. All at once, they're just gonna oh, trickle no. in. And... Oh no! Yeah, that's how they work. That's kind of like with um, Genshin's uh, Archons. They like drop them one by one, and then like even like the Harbingers. That, that's another big, powerful group. They're kind of like Akatsuki, basically. Um, they're dropping them in like one by one, like throughout random fucking spaces. Well, and and it's funny. Uh, Nanolin's coming up, which is the new region for Genshin, and that's where the captain is. The captain. So the captain is actually coming up. So I'm 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 already excited for that. I'm already excited. Um, because they already dropped one of my other favorites, uh, Harbingers, which is Arlequino. She's you know big you know waifu status, right? Like she's got the white white and black hair, ha- dresses like a um a all handsomely you know kind of thing. But, but anyway, anyway, so back in Zenless. Does she go? Hmm? Yeah. Does she see? Oh, no, 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 no. She's very like, um, kind of like a, you know, like those masculine women kind of thing, kind of deal. Very like, um, who's a, who's a okay, good example? When exam- you say mas- masculine, I immediately went to um that one character in Keijo. Keijo? Um, one of her attacks, like, it was like steel buns and she just made her ass like getting tight. Oh, oh, yeah. No, not that not not that far. No. Like it's it's not that, 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 not that. It's, it's that it's that like the it's the handsome women kind of kind of trope. You know what I mean? Like they're um, um yeah. 
very very refined very reserved not all like bubbly and like girly kind of you know what i mean you know you know what i'm saying yeah. um i'm trying to think of a good example but anyway back on to zenless so uh i because i because i wanted to like kind of piggyback off what you're saying because you was pretty much what you've been saying right throughout your thoughts have been mine pretty much plus everyone else is like like this this game does have the potential but right now it looks or it is dull unfortunately like it has the polish it works there's no bugs there's no there's no major bugs there's no like nothing like technically bad about the game but it's just kind of like pushing along right now like it's just kind of like there for the most part one of the biggest negatives is yes if not the biggest negative is is the tv system it is definitely one of the most unimmersive it, it breaks the immersion it just like breaks the flow of the storytelling um i think it's definitely one of the most de de detrimental ex parts of the experiences for verse endless like why couldn't they actually show the dungeon right you going through the dungeon oh they don't want to probably design the levels or whatever so they that's why they cut down on that cost or development time um and maybe that's why we are able to see the cutscenes right with the the you know the noodly bouncy bodies or whatever right or like you know um the static cutscenes and then you have the comic books cutscenes which is which is definitely one of the plus the pluses for for Zenless like right it's the storytelling the story of itself right now is pretty weak but maybe it is one of the the slow burners like you know um right now we're just kind of like seeing how the world works right like you know oh, oh yeah you hire people mercenaries and then they help uh do whatever job for them right you know like oh we, we have the proxies right you have the uh these factions that you know or or yeah these factions that do mercenary work essentially you know you have the victoria house ho housekeeping you have the cunning hairs you have the bella block uh, industries and then well oh yeah you have the po the is the you have the cops essentially you have the public security right and stuff like that so on and so forth you know, you have these sections being established right now, but then you have this video of essentially dropping like this, this, uh, uh, all these characters, right? Pretty much for potential polling and stuff in the for potential banners, right? For the future. Yeah. You know, this guy, this girl, purple hair, right? Pink hair girl, absolutely five star units, right? Or for S ranks, excuse me. The rest of the seven, right? Ne absolutely, like no, no question. S rank units, right? Yeah. This guy, S rank unit, you know, or it could be just a really a. important, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a, yeah. No, he he could just be like a powerful NPC or boss character or something, right? I mean, maybe not. We're not even able to pull this guy. I don't know. Maybe. Who the hell knows? So for the people who are worried about the death of the story, I think we'll get there. I think we'll get to the death, the deep parts, right, of this whole spiel or world. Um, but when it comes to the combat, like you said, it's fine, but it is very dull, right? It it it, it definitely does not have the death right now. Um, the comboing system is very simple, simplified. There's barely any juggling. The only juggling that I've seen, quote unquote, is with um, what's her face? Um, she, what was it? Oh no, it's Ambi. Ambi can actually launch up certain characters, right? And then, and then you can switch to another character and they do like a bunch of attacks, keep them in the air and stuff like that. That's the only juggle that I've seen. But it's very limited to you know have like you know the juggle combos and everything. So that's kind of like the, in the case of like making their own fun kind of thing. It's not like actually built into the game, so to say. Yeah. That's not the emphasis, right? It's just like, it just so happens that, oh, this character can launch up these character or these enemy types. And then you can switch to another character and then rinse and repeat kind of thing. 
Because what it really winds down to for the most part is just you mashing attack and then you activate the chain attack or chain tag or whatever you call it. And yeah. then you just kind of rinse and repeat. Oh yeah, and then uh, of course you dodge, you parry, you can parry with your assists. That looks cool and all, right? When you're not watching or you're not playing it, when you're just watching people play it, it looks cool. But once you actually play it, then you can start to feel the lack of depth there, especially as someone who has played Demo May Cry, Bayonetta, um, even Genshin Impact, of course, right? Those action parts, right? Yep. It definitely lacks the depth. It's more in, in line of like um, Final Fantasy 16. Very, very like watered down. But of course, you know, maybe, maybe 16 has a little more depth to it, but it's kind of like up there. Zenless is, I would say, kind of worse with that, just because it's very much dumbed down and like, uh, very much like, yeah, you just keep hitting left click or you just hit, keep hitting A, or you keep hitting the, or you keep tapping your screen, you know, whatever, depending on where you're, where you're coming from, right? Yep. Um, this is very much being developed with mobile in mind, you know, keep it simple, right? For those mobile players, you know, can be helped, but that overall makes the combat dull right now. So hopefully maybe they can update it. Um, and beautiful kind of theorized like, Hey, you know, they had that sort of round table with street fighter, right? The street fighter developers. So maybe, maybe there is some sort of like clue or some sort of hint of like, maybe they'll bring in guest characters and maybe that's when they'll up the, the combo game or whatever. Maybe we don't know. Um, there has to be a reason why they did the round, t the round table in the first place. So maybe they'll bring in people from Street Fighter to help maybe develop the combo system further or conceptualize a, a deeper combo system. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm, uh, getting too deep or maybe I'm, um, uh, overthinking it maybe, but that's what I hope to see because if that's what we're, if that's what we all, all we have, then this combat is just absolutely like very mid, in my opinion. And if their philosophy is just like, oh, we have these new characters, that's the only way to make it a little more fresh. Then I think honestly, that's um, not the way to go. If they yeah. think new characters is what's going to keep it fresh, I think that's definitely not doing it. They have to update the base, right? The base part of the combat. The very foundation has to be fixed or, or, or upgraded or updated. And what's even worse about um, the TV system, I forgot to add, is that apparently from the clo closed beta, it was worse. There are more TV segments. And what we're seeing is the reduced portion of it. And we're still saying, oh, that's like, that feels like a majority of the story right now. It's just a TV system. So people who played the closed beta had it worse, it seems like, but that doesn't take away from what we're playing or what we're complaining about. So I think they need to dump or they need to bring down this TV system and then do something about it. Um, cause that, if that's how we're going to experience the story too, then right. Like that's how is that, how is this going to be enjoyable then? Which is a shame because the story itself isn't like horrible or anything like that. But the death isn't there right now. And then the and then on top of that, if that's how we're going to experience the story, it's like, oh man, that's that sucks. You know? Um, and then I will add that the dialogue too, the dialogue of itself is very bloated. Um, there's a lot of talking for what it's supposed to be. Um and you're probably not like um noticing that because this is your first Hoyo game. But when you play something like Genshin and Star Rail, you you definitely notice like there's a lot of dialogue for like something that doesn't need a lot of dialogue. Yeah, they kind of like kind of like to fluff up the dialogue so much, and they do that here just to let you know, right? For those who are curious, they do the same thing here, and um, that does also make it a little harder. But at least with Zenless, they have different story storytelling styles, so that does help it keep it a little more fresh. Whereas Genshin and Star Rail, they just stand around. They do some default animations here and there. 
And you, you. Oh, so they do. They do the whole um, what's my god, <laughs> visual novel shit. Not like, even. Like, like, well, it's like I would say visual novel style is is more appealing because, at least with what they're doing in Zenless, you know those like visual novel the the, the, the static ones, they have their own unique like animations kind of like they have their own way of standing you know like uh nicole and nicole mata for example right they don't like stand st- stand stand there the same they ha- they have their own way of standing there whereas in genshin and star rail for example they all stand the same they all do this pose the same like this hmm like the thinking pose the same they do like oh this hand gesture the same you know you know you, you see i'm so- starting to get at like, so it's yeah. Do, 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 do you see what I'm what I'm where I'm starting to yeah. like? Yeah. Yeah. So I said like, "Ew, gross." No, um, no thought. It feel it feels like afterthoughts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. So it starts to become like very repetitive, very dull, and then and then and, and like, of course, with Genshin and Star Rail, they have like vast lore already because they're dealing with cosmic. Well, Genshin is dealing with mythical gods. Star Wars is dealing with cos- cos- cosmic gods, right? So there's a lot of lore, right? But then, like, that stuff makes it harder to digest that lore, you know? And Zenless right now, yeah, you know, it's like, okay, we're just dealing with, like, mercenary stuff. We're just dealing with mercenary work. But they just have to fluff up the dialogue for whatever fucking reason with, like, all the all the hacking terms and, like, all the, oh, this big-ass word or whatever, you know? Yeah, which some people are like, from what I saw, they're like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Because, you know, they're not, they don't have, um, you know, tech knowledge. Like, mm-hmm. I semi follow it, but I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and there is story to it. it, too. There is a story, you know, to it because there is, um, oh, yeah, there's also another faction, right? Vision. Vision is that. The big evil corporation, right? Kind of like an, um, uh, like RoboCop, you know, I forgot what the big company was called. It was like OCP or something. Um, the one who made RoboCop or developed the RoboCop program in the first place. Um, and Ed 209. That's like that, that evil corporation, you know, Vision is that corporation. And Vision was literally going to kill people because it costs too much to transport him out of the 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 hollow or whatever so they just wanted to just commit genocide like right there like what the fuck right that's why yeah yep and that's why nekomada wanted to um use the old dude as a bargaining chip to be like hey don't don't fucking do this right essentially there's people down here but then you want to just destroy this whole thing killing uh off i guess the hollow zone but also along with that with people right so that's fucked up there's, there's, there is a there is a story to it but yeah like the fluff definitely does not help that they're just talking and talking and talking it's like all right we get it we get we gotta save people though and then when you're trying to save the actual people right by putting them on the trains you're doing that through the TV system. So you don't get to see the actual, like, oh, you're pushing people into the, the train or anything. They, they, you just do all that stuff through the TV system. That So that is so, like, like that takes you out. It, ta- it, ta- it takes away from the, the tensity, right? The intensity of the um, that whole scene. It takes you out of it, so very very um problematic there and then you know you brought up the whole like um oh the resource thing the grinding and stuff like that yeah that that's been that is a problem and it's been there for star rail it's been there for genshin as well the recharge rate is horrendous you know it's a lot of things that's so like energy driven and you can only do so much per day so i'm glad that you brought it up because you you are coming in with a fresher mind, but you already brought up these things, so yeah, it is an issue, really. On top of the fact that yeah, we have a gotcha going on, you know. 
uh at least though with these banners right they bring up the um the pity counter right there it's like oh you have this many uh, searches or wishes left or polls left to bring um to activate the pity for an s rank or five star so it's, a, it's such a simple thing but they never did that for star rail and um genshin of course but they did it in I mean, Zenless. So what if <laughs> from gathering from since you played both um games prior to Zenless. Yes. And how it's like each game feels like they had their own quality of life that was fixing the other one. <laughs> it seems like yeah, they were fixing with Zenless is like they had it. But they didn't really get to the heart of the problem of their games. Yes. Yeah. Like they couldn't. They couldn't. Um. What you want call? Make it more accessible. You know? In a way, yeah. Yeah. Their purpose. It, it is very intentional, right? With the whole energy consumption, you know, to like. Oh, you know, I can only do this much per day, you know, then I gotta go fuck off and do something else kind of thing. And then you gotta come back because they want to keep players on a day-to-day -day -day basis. Whereas like, they just, they don't give enough players free reign to just do whatever they want. They want those numbers per day, the player count per day. Just to make their game look good, I guess, you know, the in terms of numbers. But hey, I mean, that's how they've been operating and they're still around. They make a shit ton of money. They make a shit ton of money. So I guess it works for them, you know, unfortunately. But here we are. We're complaining about the recharge rate or the energy consumption or the, the need to use energy just to farm these materials to get our characters up. You know, there it, there will be a point, yes, where it won't be a problem because you have already enough characters to get through the content. You know, so and then you only have that one character that you picked up recently to farm materials for, and that's it. But right now, yes, it's always this problem where you're starting out, you have this many characters to level up, you know, you have to build a team. So you got to pick and choose your characters, right? That you want to level up. But yeah, there will be a point where, oh yeah, you also now need this character to level up. You need this character to level up. So that does be, uh, become become that uh, that much more problematic, right? For um, people who are starting out. Yep. So, you know, we're all in that, in that same boat right now, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame because the aesthetics, the vibes, the visual side of things overall, the visual designs are great, right? But it's plagued by the dullness and the sort of hard to keep up with the story because of the dialogue fluff. And then they had the doll, the gall to use the TV system as a main part of the story. Rather than like something like a like a mini game or something, you know, this that TV system could have been like like a hacking moment or something, right? But they use that as an actual means to tell the story, to get through the story. So that sucks. That definitely does suck. And hopefully they do something about that in the future. Because otherwise, yeah, the characters are lovable. The, they look great. You know, the animations are great. The city of itself looks good. The music is good for the most part. You know, I said it in my in my first impressions video. It kind of is like basically a chicken nugget that has way too much batter and seasoning, but and not but not enough of that, of the actual meat filling. That's essentially what it is. Because yeah, like you have all the the seasoning, right? But what's the point when there's like so little meat of it? The actual like combat, the story, and then of course the TV system, right? 
that's like the fluff, quote unquote, or the feeling that is like, eh, right? Very unfortunate. So that's essentially most of my thoughts and stuff like that right now. But you essentially like nailed pretty much all the problems and the good parts in the head, you know, for, for Zenless. And again, I'm glad that you pointed out because you, you are coming in with a fresh mind. Whereas I've been playing the Hoyo stuff for that long now, for at least what, four years now, you know? Starting from Genshin for me, and then on, and then Sarrel came in. Star, Sarrel came in, you know, and then and then now we have Zenless. It's hard to say of uh, whether either of us will stick with this game for long, you know, to to see these characters, you know, all all these characters have their banners, right? You know, there is a chance that we'll just like be like, yeah, fuck it, I'm out. I'm gonna miss out on these characters, but yeah, fuck it, you know. Because, you know, by then they haven't uh, updated enough or they haven't fixed en enough problems, you know. But yeah. Yeah, you know, that's essentially a lot of people's problems too with the TV system, story. Um, yeah. So that's all I got for Zenless. Do you have anything else to add for uh, Zenless? Nope. No. Nope. That is all. All righty. <laughs> I hope though it does have potential. It definitely has potential. It's got like the the little things that are really cool. Like I forget to mention, there are certain W engines or pretty much weapons that are um, made for that character, right? And if that's the case, right, they uh, have certain effects that. Uh, associate with the character. So, for example, um, Ellen has her own signature W engine, and what that does is make her hair glow. Uh, ben has his own um, W engine, and that makes his uh, scar glow or some certain parts glow. Same with Ambi. It makes her hair glow. Same with um, uh, Corin. Makes her hair green whenever she uses uh, certain moves. So things, little things like that, um, are cool, right? But it's such a shame because it's played by very central, um, problems, very central and important aspects being lackluster. It feels like, um, you know, closed beta part three or something to me anyway. In, in, in more ways than one. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, we're already getting like lore set up and all that stuff. But hey, if, if they don't fix the problems, what's the point? We're not going to experience it. Again, it'd be a damn shame. But hopefully they, we, we uh, overcome those hills, I guess, or whatever. Oh, apparently, uh, there is a vampire in this game who is apparently a friend of, uh, or ex-friend of Lycan, Von Lycan. He and Lycan belong oh, to a vampire bat. Uh, he and Lycan belong to a notorious gang of thieves called the Mockingbirds. At the time, they had big plans together, but today they consider each other enemies. Ooh, see? There's so much lore, like already setting up being like very interesting. But yeah, man. They had one one night of bad bad sex and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, also like I did not like how they like worded their like, oh yeah, we're gonna give out hundred polls or whatever. Yeah. But it's just like up nice. to Yeah, it yeah. It was up to a hundred polls by playing the game. Not like, oh, we're going to give you a code that has a hundred pulls for you. You know, it, that's what it sounded like to me. We had to play the game to get it, what, a hundred and then plus the 80 more pulls or whatever. But you have to be like rank fucking 30 
or inner pole level or inner not level 30 to get all those poles for free so yeah anyways hope i hope for the best for zenless because i like i like it but it is a disappointing start in a way So let's get to the um, rest of it. So visual and entertainment news plus extras. So let me play this sound. To start off this is um, more Batman Ninja, but now we have the versus Yakuza League. Uh, so it actually features someone like, you know, Wonder Woman, Aqua Man, Flash, and even Green Lantern and uh, the appropriate costumes. So if you think uh, Ninja or Batman Ninja was already ridiculous, they're they're doing an actual Justice League Yakuza edition. Um, I think there's a teaser thing. Let me see. So I'm just gonna mute it. But yeah, kind of see what's going on. Hmm. There's Robin. Wonder Woman. No Justice League. <laughs> so yeah. Um any thoughts on it already? Any early thoughts? Why does that art style look like it's it's fucking DC's answer to Marvel Rivals? Marvel Rivals, you said? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of is along those lines. I don't blame I mean, you for that. Cool. I I personally didn't care for um for Batman uh, Ninja. Yeah, Batman Ninja. I didn't care for it. Mm-hmm. It was just weird looking. Yeah, very strange, right? It was, it you know, we, it, it's it's a conversation to be had for its strangeness. It's like, who asked for this, right? You know, maybe maybe back in the day, maybe when we we're like, you know, middle school or whatever, we we're like, oh man, what if there was a ninja themed uh, Batman story or whatever, maybe, or samurai themed. Sorry, I'm eating uh, chocolate almonds, but yeah. Um, Share, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yakuza League. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I mean, so that's, that's yeah. probably that's probably going to be the um, uh, Legion of Doom. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Uh, they made Green Lantern uh, female this time around. I mean, it might be the other. It's that other. Wait, does she have the. Oh, yeah, that is her. I forgot her name, but she's um one of, like, a lot of people like her. Uh, Jessica Cruz. Oh, okay. So the way I. I was like, oh, wait, that is Jessica because um, she has a. A birthmark on on her eye. Mm, okay, okay. So it's not like oh, yeah. brand so it, new. Okay. No. <clears throat> so yeah, so I guess it's they're not taking Hal Jordan, John Stewart, or Guy Gardner this this time around. They're giving them Jessica. Mm -hmm. uh, more limelight. That's good. Yeah. It's funny, like yeah, they made Aquaman into a, like a Japanese fisherman, and then Flash like some sort of Ronin. <laughs> but hey, it's already strange, so might as well like own up to it, right?
go all in on the uh the strangeness of this whole thing so next up we have um Oh wait, what's that there? What the hell? That's weird. Let me see if that's huh. Wonder what happened to the other thing I actually linked. Whatever. Um, let me go ahead and delete that. Cause of what that was supposed to be uh was this. I might have, like, copy and pasted the wrong thing. But anyway. So this is relating to Sonic and Shadow Generations. Dark Beginnings. This is supposed to be some sort of, like, uh, spin-off, I think. Okay, yeah. So this is during Anime Expo. Because, yes, Anime Expo is going on right now. As we speak. Sega confirm that Sonic Generations or Sonic Shadow Generations will be getting a three animated shorts in fall 2024. The fall full game will be released October 25th. Um, and this will feature um, Shadow, Maria, and even Emerald. And I guess even uh, Omega at some point. That's pretty cool. And uh, that, that's uh, Gerald Robotnik in the back. This is supposed to be um, for those who are like the lore freaks. Taking place before, even before uh, Sonic Battle, which featured that was that was the for, um, debut for um, Emerald right here, who's like this um, ancient robot kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Emerald was, uh, was supposed to be some some sort of weapon, but then uh, something happened that civilization was destroyed, I think, and then they got somebody got their hands on Emerald. It was going crazy because um, Emerald can copy. Um, abilities and things. That's why he was like taking in all the weapons that was there at the Ark. The Ark, you know, uh, weapons were being all assimilated with um, Emerald. And then I guess uh, at one point, Shadow was able to stop him and then have him sealed. And yes, it was, that was the same time when Mario is still alive. So this is like even before um, Son uh, Sonic Adventure 2 was, was even taking place. And plus, oh yeah, and on top of that fact, um, 50 years ago, this was like way more than 50 years ago, I think, because yeah, fact, because Shadow Shadow was sealed for 50 years, and then um, Sonic Adventure 2 happened. But I don't know why, uh, yeah, I don't know why Rouge is there. That's weird. Maybe they'll appear later on or something. I, I have no idea. Um. Maybe, oh, maybe they'll do a like a dark team, uh, team dark uh, episode. That's that'd be, be kind of cool. Maybe that's why they are they're together, ish. But Emerald is there for sure because yeah, Emerald is kind of like a is that important character, you know, kind of like a like chaos, uh, almost. So yeah, um. Yeah, he also mentioned that, yes, um, Sonic 3, the movie, right, it's still a thing. Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow, right? So, yeah, this is definitely the year of Shadow, yeah. The whole, you know, whoa, you know, <laughs> we'll see if that <laughs> translates with Shadow. Yeah. But, man, I want to hear him say Chaos Control, like, man, that'd be so cool. I hope he, I, I hope he does it right. Oh, man, he's so sick. I just want to see like what happens if someone like mistreats a dog in that movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah. oh god. <laughs> and it's funny because yeah, Shadow used guns in the old uh, Shadow the Hedgehog game, so that's really all the more funny, right? Uh, we can play this little teaser right here. Gerald made me the ultimate life form. I should be the key to all manner of medicines, curing you. Oh yeah, you, you hear the voices because this is this is during Anime X, so. You and Grandfather are doing your best. I'm just as happy to spend time with you here while you both research.
There's Emerald. Ah, uh, the walking. Yeah. I'm just wondering how hard is the scene going to is you know that hallway scene going to be in oh. the live action like are they just going to show them running through the hallway and then just cut away and you just I hear a gunshot or or are they going to actually show her like smiling at shadow and then yeah as she gets shot or something yeah oh man I don't know and she man. just she just like you know you don't say it you don't hear it but she's just like mouthing like it's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll be okay. And then it's like, you just hearing thumps. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh. Yeah. It's like, what? He's like, what is the rating of this, uh, this movie? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this is no longer oh, yeah. PG 13. This, this is R. Oh, yeah. So when she grabbed the shadow, there's supposed to be, there's like a glitch thing. And then you are supposed to be able to see someone like someone's face or something. And apparently it was like, um, oh, I don't know the, the, um, the officer that shot Maria or something. It's, 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 it's no, some it, like it, weird tinfoil hat kind of thing. Yeah. It's, um, it's a uh, spring chap from Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, God. She's, she's the bite of 87. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i love the uh the little thing or the animation when he takes off it's it's really sick just wait here i'll be back i promise oh Ooh. man that's sick i'm sick and then the soldiers comes running in on uh, the other side yeah i know not wrong wrong timeline but yeah i mean i'll be i'll be fucked up though Oh, there's Gerald right there, and then, yep. Yep, and that's it. <laughs> that's where they cut it off randomly, so. Yep, even the fight scene is, like, already sick. God dang. It's like some, like, One Piece level, like, fight scene. And Dragon Ball Z shit. So yeah, looking looking pretty good. It's like it's like a combination of like traditional and 3D a animation. Like I'm not sure, or or maybe all 3D for I know. But looks good. Looks good for a short or three shorts. So yeah, pretty much. Um, this person said it's the year of shadow, right? So I'll definitely um catch that by the uh, Sonic Shadow Generations game, and hopefully I'll enjoy it. Okay, let me go back on that. All right, so more anime. It's a brand new uh, okay. panty and stocking with Garabelle anime. Of course, by Studio Trigger. Yep. The bitches are back. <laughs> the poster is funny. <laughs> so, have Can you ever beat the bad bitches are back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And no, I haven't watched any Pantheon stockings, so. Yeah, I've only I, seen. I, I know art. of it. Yeah, I know of yeah. it. Yeah, same, same. Now, if you, you ask me, have I watched Nichi Joe? He's like, hell fucking yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if there's a new one for that, yeah, I'll be, I'll be on that. But um, Panty and Stalking is, you know, it's that anime that I always see a lot of fan art for, but I never watched the um the anime of itself. And even like it's got that, like that that um, it, it's like along the lines of Powerpuff Girls. It's like you know, kind of def like that deformed chibi kind of umbrella, you know. But yeah, I mean, interesting character designs, right? All around, right? And it's by Trigger, so you can't go wrong with it. 
they've been like you know top notch with like their anime um series for the most part so pretty nice nice for the fans anyway happy for the fans um next one up is um something up more our alley which is the uh, Guilty Gear Dual Rulers, um, or Guilty Gear Strive Dual Rulers anime. And this is a teaser for it from um, Anime Expo. Just another day with my dad. <laughs> yep. Dad or uncle? I forget what he um what what he is to um sim. Technically, uncle, because he and uh, I forget I forget, I forget the whole like family tree, but it's. Him and Justice, and then Justice like made all these like um ge other gears, including the yeah, Valentine, the yeah, and the Valentine, the Valentines, and then uh Dizzy, right? Yeah, and Dizzy she, who married um Key Kai Kai yeah. Kisuke, mm -hmm. who who did make um Sin. Yes, they had Sin, and then so right. You because because and then Kai will have that means Kai is a son-in-law, right? To um, well, in law with a uh, soul, soul bad guy. Technically, because yeah, because Dizzy is technically his uh daughter, right? Through because of justice and stuff. And so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's his, it, he's an uncle to um, pretty much uh, sin. <laughs> yeah I expected much for it to be 3D so I think it looks pretty good so I mean um, what are your comments on the uh, look of the anime in some shots it reminds me of like 80s 90s some shots. I guess it's just that yeah, some shots just looks like reminiscent of that yeah. era. And then and then you have the modern day um cell shaded CGI. Yes. Yeah, I think like the backgrounds are very reminiscent of um nineties stuff. For me anyway. Maybe like here too. But yeah, it doesn't look too uh, it doesn't look too bad. But maybe if you see like more stuff, then we'll get a better like opinion on it. But um yeah, it's a teaser, so it can't be helped. Would I like to watch it if I had the time for it? Uh yeah. I mean I would like to uh try to give it some time or give my time for it. But uh, we have to wait till 2025 for it to uh, come out to be a thing. Yep. All right. Not bad. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, not bad so far. Pretty promising looking. So uh, next one up is uh, Ruby. As we remember, um, Rooster Teeth officially closed, right? They closed the doors. Yeah, to uh, go out of business, pretty much. Uh, earlier this year, yes. 
but apparently they have a new home now. Um, that I haven't read myself. Oh, so Viz. Yeah, Viz. Um, okay. So Viz took it over, and to which again, like <clears throat> everyone, most everyone thought that Ruby was in safe hands with WB, and then that look how that turned out. Mm -hmm. And so we, everyone thought like it was over because you know Rooster Teeth had to, sh you know, kind of um, let go and stuff. But mm -hmm. since Viz is picking up, uh. Really, probably, you know, they they have more of a, you know, more life into them now. But I don't recall like anything. Not anything, because Viz was very popular when we were like what in in like, what high school? High school, middle school, yeah. Because um. Yeah. Uh, they are the ones who did Naruto, the anime, uh, yeah. at least to here anyway. They distributed yeah. it to here. Like the big names when we were, like middle school, high school was this this com uh, this media that brought like one of the big threes. Mm -hmm. At least, yeah. And I think, then, I think then even Fogonka. Bleach. Yeah, I think even Bleach um got into the this circle at one point. And then for manga wise, yes. our it was a uh, Tokyo Pop that brought them, that brought most mangas over to the state side. So yeah. Well, I think so, uh, well, a lot of the Shonen Jump stuff was thanks to Viz, and then the and then the um, Viz Media is what um, brought uh, animes like Naruto and Bleach at least at one point. Yeah, Viz Media right here. So. But hey, all right, you know, good news for uh, the Ruby fans. It'll live on somehow. Um, my question is though, did they buy just Ruby off of them, like off of a uh, WB or WB? Did they just like give them like the rights to it? That's my uh, question. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see what they said here. Hey everybody, my name is Carrie Shawcross. I'm Barbara Don Coleman. And we have some exciting news for you today. I know a lot of you have been wondering what's going to happen with Ruby, and we finally have an answer. Ruby has found a new home with Viz Media. Woo! I'm very excited. Me too. Obviously, and I know you guys will all be very excited. What this means is Viz Media will be the home to the Ruby franchise. So that includes production, distribution, licensing, consumer products, and more. As you can tell, we're very excited about this. This is a huge opportunity to grow our audience and expand into the future. In talking with Viz, they're also very excited about this. Um, they obviously care about where the show is now, but they also care about where it came from, and they want to make sure that we can continue this story. We are currently in talks with them about Ruby's future, and we are very hopeful for what's to come for this beloved series. So excited to work with Viz Media and to see what's next for Ruby. For more information on this and all things Ruby going forward, you can go to Viz's official blog post at viz.com slash Ruby. That's the R-W-B-Y one, not the R-U-B one <laughs> one. You guys should know that by now. Yeah. Right. So it sounds like they're still like talking about things in the back, you know, behind the scenes. Yep. So like maybe like trying to see if they can buy it off of them. Which yeah, I mean I'm not opposed to that. Cause WB is um yeah. <laughs> you know. We've been seeing how they're treating uh, a lot of their things. They even like hell, like they even like canceled like um or put the, um whatchamacallit the Wiley Wiley Coyote movie in the vault. They canceled the, the Batgirl movie. Although, to be fair, that sound, it, uh, it wasn't promising, but still, they, the fact that they did that, right? Still. Um, let me see. Oh, okay, there you go. Questions, questions. Okay, so... Let me see. What does uh let's see?
Yeah, they haven't mentioned the voice actors yet. All it says, um, that Shawcross, who is the showrunner and co-creator, will be uh, part of the production for future stuff. Can you watch volumes through uh, one through nine? Yes, I or oh. Uh, they're going to try. Yeah, Biz is exploring wider distribution for the series, home video, streaming releases, and more. There'll be merch, yes. Music, yes. Mm -hmm. What will happen to my Rooster Teeth subscriptions? Rooster Teeth uh, cancels all the subscriptions to their fan service. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just straight up canceled. Um, social media stuff. Um, yeah, Viz, is, what, it, what does Viz have planned for the future of Ruby? Viz is exploring the production of new chapters in the Ruby saga, and we will make announcements as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. No confirmation on volume 10 just yet for those who still want to keep up with it. Um, so yeah, ah, I get this out. Um, yeah, there's no like uh other other things like oh does Viz own Ruby or whatever. So I think they're tr again, I think they're trying to get it Ruby in their possession completely. But at least they're they have like the rights, I guess, for right now to produce yeah. Ruby stuff. Although let me see, let me see what if Viz um is under anyone's umbrella though. Oh, subsidiary. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so they're uh, called, they're like owned by uh, Shueisha, which is like the big, you know, company that does all like Shonen Jump and, you know. So, Jump related stuff is all under uh, Shueisha, and Shueisha owns Viz as well. So, that makes sense. Uh, um, yeah, there's no like, yeah, there's nothing about re anything related to WB. Oh, yeah, they're, they're partnered with Crunchyroll, which is owned by uh, Sony. So, there's a lot of like this. This line connects with this line, and then that branch goes over there, and then oh, fucking this company's under this umbrella. But that's it's it's, yeah. it's a lot of fucking like yeah. um, communal um, what's it called um, ownership. Mm -hmm. There's no like the big one, like who owns this? Yeah, yeah. Very, who just yeah. owns this? Oh no, not. <laughs> It's like, well, I own like seventy five percent of it. Yeah. You know, who owns the other one? That guy, but he is owned by that guy, and that <laughs> guy is owned by him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And then you just go, <laughs> we just give that why, mm -hmm. <laughs> but why? Yeah. Uh. Well, there. Well. This one is like, why kind of thing? But we already talked about it like a long time ago. Um, but we don't we now. But now we have a video for it. We have a trailer for it. And basically, what this news it's is about. It's real. It definitely is real. Um, what this was, uh, was the news, or what this news was was, was uh talking about, was that uh there is a amusement park being built, themed around Dragon Ball. But it's in uh, Saudi Arabia, I think. <laughs> I think Dubai. Dubai? Is it Dubai? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, more specifically, around around those that sort of area, right? And then I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna play the sound, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Yeah. This is a bunch of like fluff. Uh, oh yeah, the Dragon Ball scatter and then gather them to this area or park. The, the Dragon Ball scatter. 
so conveniently in you know the yeah middle east and of course this is all 3d <laughs> cgi whatever so we have no idea what it actually looks like but it's like this is like a conceptual thing as we kind of saw before with the map oh god please um There's a Kame house. Apparently, that's going to be a roller coaster, I guess, with the dragon and everything with Shenron. We get to ride Shenron? Yeah, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> wood? <laughs> Is it a wood from you, Zawa? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm to go with um, Porunga. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 you like the big one? Uh, of course, of course. No, you don't. You don't like the one with the the cigar, the blue one. You know the the evil, the evil Chevron. <laughs> From uh, it was GT? Omega, may maybe. Oh, Omega Chevron. Okay, okay. I all right. I see what you're so going. So I can pull on his fucking mustache, like. Oh, the yeah. yank. Oh God. <laughs> just yank it and just watch me die. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. And then King Yamma is going to be like, How did you get out of here? And I'm holding one of Omega Shinron's like, um, mustache and whiskers. Like, mm -hmm. where? <laughs> here you go, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll go that way. <laughs> yeah. So, this is basically the same shot that we saw, saw with the, the map. To see like what's you know what's available what's featured blah blah, blah. you even see these freezer spaceship over there somewhere over that corner um yep and all, all you're gonna hear on that side is look at these monkeys <laughs> all <of> these monkeys <laughs> stupid monkeys yep. hello monkeys <laughs> And then Which that, I still can't mm -hmm. wrap my head around when someone was like, you know, Frieza's kind of racist. Like, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, yeah, there's <laughs> Kami's lookout right there. Um, is, is there going to be like a little ditch area so you can like take a picture as um, Yamcha? Oh, God. The, little, <laughs> the, the pit? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god Ooh, ditch right there mm -hmm. with the with you the just curl up the cyber cyberman hand <laughs> he's yeah. randomly there <laughs> uh yeah so you get to I see mean, mm -hmm. yeah you would if, if there was like a, a photo op to do it I'll, oh yeah i mean i would i'll fucking just be like it's like yeah why not you're just lying down it's not like you're doing something no I, i'm gonna be like I was just going to probably do a death Jojo pose. Like, so oh. that's not, it's like, that's not how Yamcha dies. Like, I don't fucking care. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Take the picture. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, in the back of my head, expecting for this to be like the, the fire festival where there's all these ideas, right? But then when you yeah. try to bring it to reality, it's just like this, disappointing like absolutely mess. like just just mess yeah and you will see probably unfortunately like an accident or something like a fatal act with a one fatal accident and it just shut down the park yep and of all the places right this is going to be in dubai right like it's going to be like it's a little weird right because you would think this would be taking place in japan i think i said that before Oh, it is Saudi Arabia, yeah. So, yeah, but to be exact, I guess it's in Dubai, maybe, right? So, or Dubai area around the around that area, yeah. Um, yeah, it just says uh, Saudi Arabia, but yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, it's Kadia, or I don't know, I don't know, how, I don't know how you pronounce that, but yeah, Saudi Arabia based Kadia. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, no, this is the company name, Kadia Investment Company. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Um blah blah blah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is actually on their uh the official English Dragon Ball website. So this is legit for those who think it's a joke or whatever. This is actually legit. It's gonna be a over five hundred thousand square meters, right? Features different seven different areas to recreate various iconic locales from the original series, such as Kame House, Capsule Corporation, Beerus's Planet. Um, <laughs> at the park, visitors will be able to uh, join in an adventure with Goku and pals as they join the world of Dragon Ball from the very beginning of the anime all the way up to uh, Dragon Ball Super. This, this theme park will uh, feature sta five state of the art rides as part of the lineup of. 30 attractions 30 plus attractions if that is, isn't exciting oh if that wasn't already exciting enough construction of 70 meter high shenron is also planned with this landmark containing a large-scale roller coaster inside in addition there will be fully stocked hotels and restaurants available at the park to enable fans to immerse themselves in the world of dragon ball for the entire day of fun now see though this all looks fine and dandy It's much harder to get into Saudi Arabia, even with passport and shit, than going to Japan. So yeah. who is this actually made for? People, yeah, just people in, already in Saudi Arabia. Or who can, I guess, drive there. <laughs> but, drive there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, again, this sounds so fine and handy and all lovely. It's like... What's the plane? What's the plane cost? What is the conversion rate of you know, mm -hmm. you know, for money and stuff? Yeah, the the Saudi Arabian currency. Yeah. So um, so again, like as we call as you call it before, this should have been done in Japan first. Yeah. I guess somebody in Saudi Arabia loves Dragon Ball that much. To invest um, that much money to make this a thing. It says uh, the world. I could be an asshole. Mm -hmm. Because it says that, like, you know, feature seven different areas, we create various iconic locations. I could yeah. be the asshole. Okay, where's the cave that Gohan was born? The what? Let me see that cave. Where's the cave that Gohan was born? Let me have a picture in that cave. Gohan was born in the cave? Yeah. He was either Gohan, Gohan or Goten. They were born in a cave. Like, Chichi gave birth in the cave to them. I do not remember that at all. What the hell? Yeah, that, That's, man. Huh. Let's let's look that up real quick, <laughs> because because <laughs> I remember specifically there was a scene and they were talking about like how Gohan was born and it was like a cave shot and then you heard babies you know, like a baby's cry and I was like oh hmm that's how you fucking okay let me see so history 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 he was born in a cave or something. Biography. What the fuck? What? People ask how was Gohan born? After many frost, Goku finally unleashed his Kamehameha inside <laughs> of him. I was like, what the fuck is this fanfic? <laughs> After that, he gave her a sense of being to heal because you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, oh, like, I don't know what where you cook this up but you you get one kudos from me it's like there you go yeah I didn't say about a cave so may, Goten hold on um oops
<laughs> That's funny. Piccolo is like right there too. Um, the true dad. In some ways, yeah. At least in some degrees, yes. Um, but if you go by um, Team Four Stars, yeah. <laughs> In Team Four Star, yeah, yeah, Team Four, in team four Stars are canon. Yes, canon war. yeah. Uh, okay, so he was born nine months after defeat of Cell. Not pushed in school as much as Gohan. Um, no, there, there's no mention. No mention of a cave, man. I'll be that um, Mandala effect, because I remember specifically watching a DBZ episode where they explained one of the kids' origin, and it was like, yeah, he was born in a cave. Maybe that might have been just a dub thing. I don't know. It might have been a dub. Oh, an ocean, uh, what's it called? Oceanic? Ocean, Oceanic ocean dub. dub, yeah. like Yeah. It might have been an ocean dub thing. Yeah, there is no mention of a cave for either of these two. Here, I'll even I'll even go the extra mile in the. Uh... Yeah, only two words come up for cave, and or two searches come up, and it's just like, oh yeah, he hides in a cave, or oh, he leaves the cave. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Uh, Gohan, right here, do the same thing. Hiding in the cave, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely do not remember that. So, yeah, about any cave. You might, you might have either got some sort of Mandela effect or, um, you, the, the dub, for some reason said oh he's born in a cave or something because i definitely do not remember well, that at all. it wasn't like they, he was said it was born in a cave. they showed a scene of a, oh, cave and a baby a baby crying and goku was like saying like yeah and that's how you were born or that's that's where you were born hmm I got fucking whatever at this point <laughs> dbz is so fucking weird. Uh, who was born in the cave? I, I really want to see you, you are really diving into. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, it's not nothing's coming up, so yeah. C6? Okay, yeah, this is, this is completely like <laughs> way out of left field. Okay, yeah, there's nothing about being born in the cave, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I really wanted to make sure I'm not tripping out or anything. Okay. So, anyways, yes. So, we have a Dragon Ball theme park still coming. But, um... I, still yeah. coming. Probably mm -hmm. half of the world not even fucking going. Yeah, right? Like, it's... <sighs> I want to I see what the conversion rate is like for Saudi Arabia. Um... Oops. To USD. Oh. Oh God. A quarter to their dollar? Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. What? Wow. So their dollar. So their their dollar equals to. Oh. Okay. That's really weird. Huh. Wait, how is it? Wait, oh, well, I'm confused. $100 is equals to um 372.71 of their Currency. 
Huh. I thought it'd be the other way around, but okay. Huh. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> my, my, you know, like I said, how is this going to actually translate into actually building it, right? Like, is this actually going to be doable at all? Are they actually going to build every fucking thing that was in this thing or in this uh image, right? As we were looking at, you know. Um, fuck. I wish I didn't close that tab, but um, whatever. Oh. Wall theme park, right there. Yeah, is everything here going to be built? You know what I mean? Like, is is this going to look all like like this? At least similarly, anyway. That's huge. And look at the stuff around. Look at the actual like land around. It. It's like a canyon, right? So there's the building is up the canyon. Yeah, yeah. So are they building this park within a canyon or around it? That's wow, right? Oh, it's weird they're not saying like where exactly in Saudi Arabia. Because I want to get an idea of like the location of what it's like. Is it like a hot part of the Saudi Arabia? Is it? A is there like a cold part, you know? <laughs> yeah. All it says is just Saudi Arabia. Yeah, someone says, why is Saudi Arabia? I'll never go there. Right off the bat. Um, <laughs> oh man. It's over for Disneyland. <laughs> I'm gonna save up and go. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Right in. Yep. In Saudi Arabia, yeah, hard pass. It could have been in Japan, the US, or Mexico, but they, they decided to put it in Saudi Arabia. Best idea in the worst place to put it in Dragon Ball Ter in uh, Dragon Ball terms, it's like trying to relax in King Kai's planet while Goku trains there. <laughs> Uh, interesting sentence there. Yeah, it's in Saudi Arabia, and then the gif of this guy throwing the L's. You know? <laughs> Great, I can't even drink a beer. <laughs> Relax in the 100 time gravity room. <laughs> Put it in Japan. Shame it's in Saudi Arabia, I'll, so I'll never touch foot in that <laughs> sun-infested area. Yeah, I think we have an idea of how people feel about going to Saudi Arabia for Dragon Ball Park, or whatever it's going to be called. Alright. That's, uh, that's all I got. For this uh, bit, do you have anything else to add? Besides the Overwatch thing? <laughs> Let me see, actually. Since you brought up the whole, like, yeah, Transformers thing. Um, oh my god. Damn.
Prime Prime Gaming rewards for Overwatch 2 discontinued. Sag. <laughs> Ultra Watch Zarya. Oh yeah, they got the Tokusatsu stuff right now. Yeah, Transformers. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me guess. Uh it'll cost an arm and a leg to get the Transformer skins, right? All right, I think we're good on that. So thank you very much. It's been uh, pretty fun. Um, let me see. It's still. We still have one episode left for this. Yeah, for next week, and then you and then uh, Zawa will be at Evo, so we'll take a break there during uh, Evo week. You know what's funny is that uh, my vacation—I actually had a vac uh, vacation or work vacation plan from the fifteenth mm -hmm. all the way up to uh, twenty-six. So I'm I'm on a two-week vacation. So my vacation doesn't start till two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Pretty much for me as well, ish. So good stuff. We'll still have one uh, episode before Evo break, and then we'll come back from there and then maybe talk about Evo from there. So, but we still got one more week. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> that's all you're gonna. Yeah, be. it's that, hot. That, yeah, that's if. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's pretty much the gist of that. So, and then I'll be like, it's hot, and I'm married. <laughs> 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 he got married in Vegas. Oh no! Oh man! I don't know. You just see Sonic Fox like right next to me. He's like, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that would. That's not how this is. <laughs> that's, how, I'm gonna explain this. <laughs> that's not scandalous at all. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm learning how to play fighting games. Leave me alone. <laughs> all right. That's it from us for now. We'll be back next week. And uh, with that, thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.